that was late. with the TPKs in this campaign, uh, but we are here and ready to play. But first, the highlight of the stream, the preamble. Penny Dragon streams across four evenings a week, largely showing a mix of campaigns and one-shots in D&D 5e or game set, but we are firmly system agnostic here, so you will find occasional other game types, especially towards the end of next month. VADs are available on this channel for up to two months. Want to catch up on a missed campaign episode, see one of the recent one-shots, or rewatch a recent favourite episode? It's all there for subscribers. If you want to see some of the old games, such as a visit to Jurassic Park, the first part of Ryan's Revenant Saga, or the likes of playing a patch of nerd poker in a elevator, uh, these can be found on the Penny Dragon Games YouTube channel, alongside the longer-running campaign arcs and a couple of mini-campaigns off the sides. Uh, looking ahead to just the next week, we have the following streams all broadcasting in uh, evenings UK time. Tomorrow night, we have DM Ryan and his crew as they play episode six of the Consequ Consequential Quintrivium. I had that perfect in rehearsals. Damn it. Uh, the party travel to the farm of old Mo McGregor to give him his brother's will to the farm. Having delivered the news, they were offered some work clearing up the prized vegetable patch for some coin. See what happens as they head back to Jin to let them know the job is done. Then over this weekend, the cloaks return on their fortnightly slot to this Sunday, September 24th, under DM Ben. After a cryptic conversation with a dead man, the party are one step closer to retrieving the final piece of the obsidian tablet. But can they wrestle it from the clutches of the cult before it's too late? And then to kick off next week, the journey to Van Richten's Tower continues after a harrowing battle with Strahd, some demonic, some vampiric kobolds even, and a bone claw of all things. Seemingly beaten into retreat, the Dark Lord vanished into mist, leaving the party questioning just who is Hadrian really. Tune in to find out on the 26th September with Karag in the DM chair. Then on Thursday 28th, a week away from here, Craig is back to DM another episode of Heirs to the Hand. The Heirs have fought their way through the Astral Ascendancy's prison, aided by their new addition, the Rick Iknak, their four-armed, free clean wizard. They're not out of the fire yet, though, as they push closer to reuniting with their Minotaur allies. The battle grows thick, and a sinister psionic presence is detected. Uh, and looking beyond that, we'll have Dave Soffer and Saga, Steven running the next Sunless Citadel, and even more wonderful streams to bring to your doors. As always, you can influence tonight's game by the use of channel points, bits, and subscriptions, providing up to three single-use blesses, inspirations, or healing to the players, or to the DM, of course. Uh, details can be found directly below. Uh, and follow the bot in chat for the link to the stream elements page where you can get merch showcasing art from some of the various artists who contribute to the Penny Dragon streams. They all do amazing work. The higher your tier subscription to the Penny Dragon streams is, the higher the discount offered on that page. And also, talking of subs, it is September on Twitch. For the month of September, you get 25% off new subs and upgrades. Plus, on the 26th of September, uh, till the 1st of October, you'll get 25% off gifted subs as well. So, time to get on with it if you need a sub. Uh, keep your eyes as open as well for a number of Kickstarter and Backer Kick updates. Uh, the most recent campaign, Davidian's Treaties of Peoples, has a dragon's horde of new stat blocks, backgrounds, and even more. Plus a wealth of Penny Dragon add-ons to be purchased, and even more stretch goals to be unlocked for some lovely loot. You have six days left. So you have not put in for your treaties. You do not have a long time for it. Uh, over as well, talking of things that will likely run out soon on Penny Dragon Dot Games. Uh, the summer mega bundle continues to fight off the autumn with a seventy percent discount on seven adventures, thirty new stat blocks, four hundred new added items, more than eight hundred pages of adventure. I really don't know how long that one's going to be running for. So I That's highly recommend day. you get over there now. Last day today. Last day today, yeah. Go, so get in go there. run. Don't stop them. Come no, back do it. No, uh, mm. Have us in the background and go and buy that if you haven't bought it. <laughs> um, I come back to tonight. I would like to shout out to Dungeon Alchemist, the map program that I'm attempting to use exclusively in this campaign for all the encounters the party experienced. Uh, cartography, not always by me, to be fair. 
Um, thanks as well to Tabletop Audio for the music available directly within the Royal 20 platform and to the designer of tonight's adventure, Ron Lundin, Ron Lundeed, sorry, though I have adapted it slightly. Uh, and thank you to Christian, serving double duty in the tech bunker, trying to keep the gremlins out of the stream as well as performing in front for all you lovely people. And talking of lovely people, let's get round to meeting our players. Um, we are missing Ben tonight, so the role of our stoic but slowly foring Iron Mind will be remote piloted, and we'll do our best not to kill our human Psy Warrior without their player present. Uh, let's also move on to Christian, as we've mentioned his name. Hey everyone, um, I'm Christian, and I'm playing Brew. He is a Wood Elf monk, and I don't think he's going to guide the party through the wilderness anymore because he's a bit freaked out by the the weird puppet that the new party member has, so uh, he's going to keep a closer eye on him than, than on the environment around him. But yeah, that's me. Uh, judging by those roles from four weeks ago, you definitely were keeping more of an eye out on that than the direction you were going in. Uh, talking of that, uh, let's hear more about Rowan, shall we? Uh, okay, uh, hello, my name is Joe. I play Rowan. He's a guy who likes to play with dolls. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to him. Life-size uh, dolls. Let's get this to them properly. I mean, the bigger the better, right? And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's definitely nothing weird going on with him at all. Uh, just a dude. Uh, he's a human. Uh, wizard artificer thing. Um, One of those, just some sort of class. Some, there's something in that kind of <laughs> realm. Uh, but yeah, that's me. Uh, fair enough. Uh, and let's go on to Ari next. Hey everyone, I'm Kira. I play Ari. She is the half elf bard of the group. She is turning into the mammy and just seems to be giving out to them for all getting hurt all the time. So that's her. I uh, will keep throwing them into bad situations. So sorry, that's going to carry on. Uh, and last but by no means least, Sir Richard. If oh, just hi. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Dave playing Sir Richard Brighthorn. A uh, dashingly handsome young noble fifth in line for his father's throne, who realised he was actually fifth in line for a life of boredom and fled his life of privilege for one of adventure. Richard is quite naive, but highly skilled with his rapier and wit, and has a particular affinity for picking locks. More about that later if we ever meet a lock. Uh, you won't find many of those in a marsh, but no. maybe, maybe. Uh, maybe thank you, Neil Gaming. Uh, may your dice gods roll nicely for you as well. Uh, with all that said, let us jump into episode 11 of the Candlekeeper Mysteries. Our party of seekers, employed by Candlekeep as their roving squad of adventurers for hire, are deep within the Chilimba Marsh on the eastern side of Ferun. They are tasked with tracking down and retrieving unique tomes, scrolls and artifacts of arcane significance and are in this particular murky marsh trying to track down the sunken tower of a wizard from a past age. Having fought elemental and fey forces, a party have added Rowan as a new ally, but continue to find themselves seemingly lost in this swampland. Um, as mentioned, Brew has been attempting to lead them through this, guiding off the pretty poor map they were given, uh, and has spent a little bit too much time keeping an eye on their new edition, and has managed to... Well, it led the part into a rather sticky situation. Uh, let's move over. Uh, and I would need everyone other than Brew to make me a dexterity saving throw as we hit this page, oh. please. Uh, as as you walk along this pathway, Brew, as you lead the group through, the ground kind of it goes out from underneath you and your feet sink a foot into this thick, slurpy mud. The water coming up to your sort of, towards the tops of your thighs. Uh, I should get something rolling for I mind while I'm on this. Uh, 19, I can pretty much only see my, my own character. Is that the, that's a darkness thing? Uh, no, let me readjust that one. I thought I'd change that. Let's just do a quick bit of... Uh, so, in the Chilimba Marsh, um, your vision... Oh, yeah, that's why your vision set wrongly. Um... You can only see 60 or so feet around you. Um, yeah. the, the marshness around, the kind of just there's always this perpetual murk, this mist 
that just kind of swirls and ebbs around you. Um, I'm still waiting for dexterity saves from uh, Rowan. Yeah, I was just waiting to ask if it was a deck save, right? It is a deck save. Oh no. Okay. This is this is going well. I'm loving this. <laughs> uh so Sir Richard, um, you kind of feel the ground giving away believe you, and you're able to get to a point you are not considered uh with a speed of zero. Those of you who have failed this deck save, which is uh the others. <laughs> and Auri both have failed Everybody. this and you are also now with Rue, you are now stuck in this clenching mud that's grabbed your boots locking you into place uh, the Iron Mind how does he do the Iron Mind as well just the weight of his arm of you. and so mm. I'll move through and try and get Brew to give him my okay. hand you don't uh, yes. As you are reaching out for Brew to try to grab him, you see the water to the side of the Iron Mine begins to lift up. Uh, and if you can all roll initiative for me, please. Oh, shit. Oh. Not again. <laughs> uh, Tom, I just noticed that the token and the character sheet don't show the same hit points. Um, it's supposed to be 21. It's on the... uh, okay. I'm happy if you want to just, I'll just change that on your token then for now. And I will look at why. Uh, yeah, I'm pulling oh. tokens slightly differently because of the sight lines on this one. Okay. Do you want me to move so back to where I was? Uh, no, I'm happy for you yeah. to be there. That's absolutely fine. Um, I am mind initiative. Uh, is that everyone? So rich. Harry, I am like rude. Uh, I don't do. see Rowan on there. Have you rolled? I have not rolled. Uh, okay. Why do go. that? Let's add in. Uh, uh, question, DM. Yes. Have I seen this happen before? Is this the water that is weird? Yeah, I told you the water is weird here. But no. Yep. Yep. Yes, you did. This is. This is. You have an idea of what's happening at this point. Uh, sort that. Hopefully you're hearing music coming in. Uh, and at the top of the round, before any of you can react, um, you see flying out from the mist from the south. Um, it's there. Um, you see this shape of steam let me uh shift ping that for you when i get back onto the correct layer is that a steam method that is a steam effort nice which i will say you I've have seen, seen they are oh my god it's hard to that's see how much is, yeah. he that's how hard he is to see against the mists dude. behind him um it becomes even worse as <laughs> there's a word and then his whole form begins to shift and blur and a ripple so you can only make it to there, and the sun is his wings as he flies in. But uh, I, I only asked as a guest, by the way. I don't know. I've actually never actually seen one of these things. Before. No, you'd have seen, nice. definitely seen. I mean, no, you've fought the me, mud versions me, Joe, of these the recently. I've never seen. Oh, okay. Uh, Auri, uh, you are currently stuck in the mud, quite literally. So you have a speed of zero. You are able to take an action to wish. Which could be to try to get yourself clear of the mud, or could be. Yeah, I'm just... she cut herself out. She can't move herself at all. Oh, no, I mean you could help Rowan get himself out. Um, you still have your oh, arms are free. It's just your kind of like from your calves down that are. You've kind of sunk into the mud with as this the as the kind of spongy marsh down you on has just kind of collapsed below you. So I could grab Ron and try to push him. Would that you work? Could certainly give him. A, you could aid him. Yes. Or you that's... could try to pull him out if you wanted rather than yourself. Or you can give him advantage on his check if he will. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll give him oh. advantage on it. I'll just. Okay. She <laughs> Any bonus actions? Yeah. No, not right now. Alrighty. Yeah, as you as you grab Rowan to kind of start helping pulling him out of that, you realize yeah. that 
you grab him and it's like grabbing a skeleton. She's certainly not the uh strong. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna make a face anyway. She's gonna be like, oh my god. Like he feels almost like lifting paper or something. <laughs> well it's good. Ari's very weak, so I mean Say swimmingly. Uh Sir Richard. Yes, yes, yes. Sir Richard will um what will he do? He will <clears throat> I think he's gonna try and, and help Bru sorry, for a second there you said there was that something was happening in the water beside the iron mine. I did, yes. What what? What does it look like? <laughs> it looks like water. Is it bubbling or is it like becoming like a there shape? There seems to or? be, I will say there seems to be some sort of shape beginning to form. Okay, so he's going to go, he's going to uh, five, ten. And can is there any way, can can I help him extricate himself from this? Sure, you could use the help action help. to... Uh, or, 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 but can I make a check to try and drag him out? Oh, you can do an action if you wanted to try to do it. Clear him. Yeah, absolutely. I'll love that. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, my strength is dog shit, though, but I'll... I hope I have a roll and I'm a bless. So what do I need I to mean, roll? I'll let you do athletics if you... If that helps. It athletics roll straight. <laughs> I, I mean, they're both the same, but I'll... I'll roll athletics for the hell of it. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Uh, they are in very... Very wedged at this point. Yeah, and like I mean, he's ninety-five percent concerned about the iron mine and five percent concerned about his boots. Um, <laughs> and uh, but he will he'll look over. Um, oh, I don't know. Can he do anything with his bonus? Eyes? cunning action. I wonder. Uh, do, 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 do dash disengage or hide? Uh, no. So he'll he'll just stay there. I guess that's all he can do. Okay. We will move along then to Rowan. Uh, I mean, okay, yeah, so, can I, yeah, Rowan will try to, try to get out with the help of Ori. Okay, uh, well, athletics with advantage then, please. Yes, sir, uh, uh, athletics, you say, hmm. Hey, natural 20, minus one for 19. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Yep. Uh, with Arrow's aid, you are able to... <laughs> you're able to free your boots out. Um, you are still wet, obviously, from the knees down, but you are able to now move around. Um, And I... Yeah, I say to them, I get on dry land, and uh, I... Is this is the water difficult terrain? Um, you know what? Let me roll a die and find out. Because I hadn't decided till this point. Uh, sorry, guys. Oops, yes. No, it's not. Okay, cool. And I'm just gonna try to stand. Is this dry land where I am now? Yeah. Somewhere I mean, dry is relative, but it's it's not. Yeah, it's not sucky sucky. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Uh, yeah, then I'm gonna stand right here. Okay. Uh, we move on then to Brew. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and get out. What do I roll? Athletics. Uh, athletics, please. Come on. Uh, that's enough. You're able to. <sighs> Wiggle your way out. Okay, and then uh, which way do I want to go? There. Okay. Any bonus actions? Um. No. No. I don't think so. Not now. Alrighty. Um. As you're turning back to look over the water, Rue, uh, you see another of these methods fly out of the, fly into view from the mist, and thsh, again, it says something, and the form ripples, it becomes even harder to distinguish than it already is. Uh, they are definitely bearing down on you with intent. Uh, the Iron Mind, um, he will. Uh, he's going to attempt to get himself out. A 
athletics. Uh, 17. So he just... Uh, almost without your help, Sir Richard, he just able to just pulls himself by sheer force of will almost. It's almost like, it's almost, almost as if he's willing himself out of this grasping mud. Um, he will... Oh, no, I'm on the wrong... There, that's going to help. Uh, he heads over to you, Auri, and he's going to next turn. He'll be looking to try to aid you. Um, let me check his bonus just to see if he's... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reminding myself what his psionic things do. Um... Uh, that's an action. No, so you can't do that. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's just moved to there for now. Um, okay. So, Richard, as you're watching him go, you watch everyone else's faces kind of look up and behind you, and you turn to see as the wolf. I'm afraid oh you move next to it. Uh... But yeah, for trying to see this kind of broiling kind of serpent water. Uh, Rowan, you recognize this creature. Uh, You've seen this from a distance. Uh, this is very definitely uh, that nice, fun entity you'd seen a few days ago and made pains to stay away from as best you could. Um, let's see. There's a couple of target options. Let's see what I'm going for. And it turns to face Auri. Thanks. Yeah. And from where it stood, you see this pseudopod reaches out. Uh, it goes towards you. And, and you see a six coming a mile away. And nothing further happens from that. I see my dice rolls are going to carry on doing what they did last time. Love it. Uh, back to the top of the round. Uh, this creature is the first to move. So it will fly up towards you, Sir Richard. Yeah, this, kind of, this, one, this hissing sound as it's approaching, you can actually feel it. The air around it is warm. Uh, and these swipes out towards you with, with these claws made of there's a 20 unnatural 20 hit sure does uh, you will take uh, 3 points of slashing and 4 points of fire damage as these claws almost seem to pass through your armour you feel this kind of slashing pain across your chest exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, Ari, it is to you. So that thing's just looking straight at her? That thing has just attempted to reach out and kind of, this sort of pseudopod has tried to grasp you. It's the whole thing. Okay, well, she's just going to try to use her vicious mockery, as she does. With All right, my sure. lovely new sheet that I have been given. <laughs> um. And she is going to find the right sheet, first of all. I love to imagine that you're in the middle possible. of this combat scene. You say, excuse me, just need to stop to find. No, not just to have a, a pocket. Hang on, sorry. I've got my <laughs> list here. Uh, no, no, I'm not fighting yet. Hang on. It's like definite mammy thing. Give me a second. <laughs> um, so she's going to like look at it and be absolutely terrified, but cast her Mr. Valkyrie and say, if you were any less threatening, you'd be a dandelion. <laughs> uh, as a wisdom save. We don't made a dandelion golem. <laughs> I'm going to put that to one side and we will come back to it another. <laughs> and we'll see just how bad we can make a dandelion golem. Uh, that rolls a two on its wisdom save, so it'll take that psychic damage. And you see this, it just kind of recoils a bit. Um, 
doesn't seem to notice we do anything else to it, but it, you get the impression that it's done the damage you would expect it to do. Okay. Um, uh, any bonus actions? Yeah, I'm going to give... To move currently? You know, I'm going to give Bardic Inspiration to Sir Richard. Alrighty. He is in the middle of all that, and... Um, then she can't really do anything else. She can't move herself right now because she's used... Yeah, because that was the cantrip thing. She can't yep. try and get herself out, so she's going to wait for assistance. I <laughs> see. <laughs> insult that person and just go, huh? Anyone? Anyone? Just like, I'm too weak for this. Uh, <laughs> Sir Richard. Oh, I think I would be mad if I did not disengage with a bonus action. So he will disengage. Bonus action 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> and he will then, um, I think he's going to take a pop with his short bow at this okay. creator here. And uh, hold on, do I, I, this is a, a, a thing I keep. Sorry, which one are you aiming for? Uh, sorry, the big guy. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Uh, he'll just take a shot. There'll be no sneak attack on this. Nope. That is uh, an 11 to hit. That is 11. Ooh. Uh... Yes, it just moves at the wrong time and your arrow sh shoots past it. Cool. So that was movement, bonus action, and action. That's all he's got. All right, then. Uh, Rowan, over to you. Uh, I just want to measure something. Jesus fucking... Um, it's never a good sign when I can't... I'm going measuring. to take a step sideways... And uh, hold a spell in case uh, somebody comes within range of um, of Ari. I, I will say, you know, just the creature made a swipe at her from where it is, the large one. Yes. What weird. Okay. Indeed. Okie dokie. Eric. Uh, any bonus actions, Rowan? Uh... Yeah, you know what? Uh, I will. Um, no, no. I don't know what's nothing, with the rolls tonight, Ryan. It seems to no, be nothing for now. Nothing for now. I think we're taking hits from all the big rolls that you guys are going to roll this weekend. <laughs> uh, moving on to Brew. Um, yeah, thoroughly upset about the fact that I just got out of the water and I have to go back in. Um, <laughs> I will move closer to this one yep and <clears throat> short sword him see what he does uh so a a natural 20 will do it that, that's for sure uh give me a roll on the critical hit table uh, as I will take nine points of piercing off this thing, so um, this is not a magic sword, is it? No, it's not. Okay. You have to, nice. That's a handy little one to have. Uh, yeah, so your sword, you do a very sort of sharp blow to it. It does not seem to do the damage you expect. Cool. Um, and then I'll... You kind of can imagine because it is only water. Yeah. So, nine, and then I'll do a quick uh, one, two... With a flurry of blows. Sure. Um, I think you have key points left for that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, seven we, will not we, we do it. We took a rest, right? After the last one. We did. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. You, you probably took a short rest. Yeah. No, we, we, we slept. Yeah. Not after yeah. the last... Did you? Oh, yeah, you did. You absolutely yeah. right. So, yes, like, you are long yeah. rested. the whole Sorry, night. Yes. The doll yeah, yeah. was looking the at the whole. The whole, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, so your first swipe doesn't go anywhere, Brew, but you're able to kind of rebound around quickly and get it on a second swing. Um, again, does not do the damage you would like it to do. Cool. Um, and uh, then, uh, yeah, I get a... As my part of my drunken technique, I get a free disengage if I use a key. Yep. So to use to do fight off blows. So I'm just gonna. And you also have the dodge action going as well. Should anything try to shoot you for yeah. oh, from afar? Nice. Alrighty. Uh, 
What's this guy got to do? So this one will... This method flies over to... There? That looks good. Uh, where is... Come on, look how vulnerable Eri is right there. Why doesn't he go? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm all fine. I'm all fine. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, I look what you've done. <laughs> no, you can that's, that's you get I mean, he can, he can do that from closer, right? <laughs> no, no, he's quite happy to do it from there. That seems perfect. I mean, it could go that way if you want. I mean, that's... All these op- no, we'll go this way because there's two of them there. Um, so, Ari, the eye mind you turn as this thing flies past, and this kind of ripping bows on this whole kind of uh, as this wave of superheated air and steam comes out from it. Uh, can I have uh, you please make me a dexterity saving throw? And the iron mind will be doing the same. Uh, you're at disadvantage though because you're. Thing, which is just a six. Oh, sorry. That's right. Nope. Uh, and I mind who is not stuck, so he's straight wrong. Oh. Oh. Uh, essentially, at this point, I'm going to say for the person after me, he kind of pushes you down uh, and takes it as the steam rolls across. Um, this one is a hero. He is a hero. Um, so you will take. Oh, wow. Uh, you each take one point of fire damage. That's a, my rolls are bad, even in the macros. Uh, yeah, it's this kind of steam roll. You're close enough to the water, it doesn't actually affect you that much as you duck down. It's a head. Uh, that doesn't count as getting in range, right? I don't know. Does that count? I'm just curious for the purposes of my held spell. I mean, that's up to you. Do you think? I mean, that's up to you. Does that meet your trigger for being in range? It yeah, I mean, I, I want. I was hoping he would step one square to the left, but uh, <laughs> I thought he was melee. Um, I know I'll say that he didn't go for a melee attack. I'm, I'm, I will let you trigger your held spell. I you so let, let go of my spell then. Uh, so I will. Um, uh, I, the sword will start humming, like vibrating, like, and then I will slap it on the water. And as I slap it on the water, I will send out a line from me trying to can i hit that can i hit them both like that or um what's the attack you're trying to do it's a it's a it's a line it's a line attack it's called uh tasha's caustic brew i would say if you want to hit both of them you're gonna probably hit ari because it's a five foot width isn't it that one i remember yeah, correctly. It's a, yeah 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 it's a it's a five foot line uh... so I'd say you can probably get this one and this one. You would I don't. I think the one over that side you, you're not. You're going to struggle with. But I think you could. I think you can get the one that did the steam breath, and you could probably just catch the water weird in that. Okay. Then I'll I'll do that. Okay. Uh, let me just bring it up here. Uh, Tasha's caustic brew. They have to make a save. So, nope, that's the conductor's edge. Sorry, Caustic Brew DC 14. Dexterity. Thank you. Uh, so the method fails to no one's surprise. The water weird look fails even more. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. They both take five points of acid damage unless they are immune to it. Uh, I do not believe, I'm double checking, that they have immunity to acid. Uh, okay. Uh, no, so roll your damage, that one. Uh, I did, it's five points of acid, acid damage. Oh yes, up above, I see it. Lovely. Uh, yeah, that does the damage you expect to both of them. And uh, That's it, every each creature in the turn, line must right. succeed on a... Yeah. They must uh, succeed on a dex save or take. Uh, a creature covered in the acid takes 2d4 acid damage at the start of each of its turns. 
so then a question I'm going to throw to the DM is that if I was to put something into water, do you think the water would automatically wash it off? A creature moved through water. Maybe. Depends on how thick or globulous it is. I mean, I would... I don't know. I would probably allow it to, to to sort of quicken the creature taking it off. But I'm going to yeah, yeah, I, think I, I would say that it that it gets saturated with acid and it's like in there and <laughs> it's hard to get out and even harder to get out. But that's just me. And bear in mind that this applies to you. This could apply to you later on. This is why I'm asking. Yeah, I think water might instead of just washing it off immediately, maybe just lessen the amount of turns i don't know so it reduced by say a die per turn if it hasn't spent the action clear yes yeah, so that sounds reasonable okay and we would do the same for you should anything bring this on you that's fine that was good that is a ruling going forward and five yeah. points on the weird book 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 lovely lovely um that's your held action that's the methods he moved 5 10 15 20 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, what's their movement? He will then finish his movement to fly up next to Auri. Uh The Iron Mind. Um, what do we reckon? Do you think he did an attack or do we think he tried to pull Ari free first and drag her away? I think he's he's the uh, he's the consummate hero, so I think he would try and get Ari out of there. That's where I was leaning towards. So athletics check to pull Ari out. Uh, I presume you're not resisting Ari. No. <laughs> Twenty-three, and then if you will let him, he will be dragging the pe- both of you back onto the drier part of all this. And he can get out of the stuck mud. <laughs> would that be considered force move- movement for Ari? Um, I would say so. Nice. On that one, so that will be five, ten. Move you to there. He puts you down there, and being the thing is, he'll step back in the water to protect against you. Mm. Uh, You'd be stuck again in the water, though. It seems to be now this thing's settled down. It seems to. Okay. The initial trap's been triggered. Um, so weird. What's the intelligence of the weirds? It's got three targets to the one side and one target off to the side who attempted to hurt us. So, um, the weird you watch just collapses into the water and it's going to jump towards Sir. No, it's not going to jump towards Sir Richard. Uh, under the water, it slides around and raises itself back up here. Uh, and then thrown, you just see the water reaches out towards you. Uh, still traces of the acid you cast on, on it. Um, so, does it take the 1d4 at the start of its turn? Yes. So, it take, uh, do you want to roll me another 2d4? We'll see what damage it took at the beginning. What's that? Uh, yeah, one, one sec. Five. No. Five more points of damage. Cool. Um, and then it hasn't taken time to clear it off, so next turn you can roll 1d4. Okay, okay. Uh, but it will make... It attempts to grab you. Not with a nine. Hey, nice. Thank you. <sighs> My rolls are doing that. Are they? Okay, that's fine. So, yeah. With that, this... One to the south flies directly forward to there. Um, and if I have Brew, Eye Mind, and Auri all make dexterity saving pros as the other one flies up and again. <gasps> this breath superheated steam rolls towards you. Uh Auri passes comfortably. Rue, unless you have advantage, I'm afraid you do not. Uh, and I mind. Uh, also does not. So you will. 
So those of you who failed will take um, Sorry, six Tom. points. What Sorry? does the dodge yep. thing give me that I got? Oh no, the... you'll, you'll have, you do have advantage. Okay. Yes, because you had the dodge yeah. on the critical. Yes, so you, you'll take... Um, so okay. Iron Mind Just will take six points yeah. of damage and Brew and Arrow, you'll only take three points of fire damage. So six against the Iron Mind. Six stuck. Uh, uh, and where's it going to go to? It's ten. Uh, which way? Every place. Yeah, it's going to push in on Brew, I think. Uh, Ari, it's your turn. You have uh, speed, you can move again. Yay, we're free. Um, she's going to try Dissonant Whispers on the white one that's like closest between her and the big fella. Uh, yep, no worries. Yeah. Uh, 14. Okay. Uh, how does that appear so, as you cast it? It's kind of like the little melody. The only thing I can think of is like from The Little Mermaid where it just travels in the air through it uh, just directly to uh, a little melody. I'm actually going to use a bless on that. No. And then I hope Linda's paying attention and can join you in chat at some point. No. Uh, 16 to pass. Damn it. Um, then she will use her bonus action, though, to help Iron Mind with the healing word because he's quite hurt. Uh, you will thing. not be able to cast healing words as if you already used a spell slot. Oh, right. Okay. Sorry. Um, you can use a bonus action cantrip. You can still uh, do bardic inspirations. Uh, yeah, well, I, I can give him bardic inspiration, but I can't do anything else. Then, so. Nine points. Ooh. It's a decent hit. Um, okay, you can give bardic inspiration. Yeah. Actually, actually summon Linda. She's just appeared in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, oh I've used God. a bless to save, save one of my things, but I'm only down to one, Linda. I've done the one. How did you do that? Because uh, <laughs> I call for the Blood Goddess on a regular basis. <laughs> this is why. Uh, okay, that's Ari's turn. Sir Richard, I saw you measuring before. What nefarious yes, scheme yes, were you planning in the background? Um, I think he's actually going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's going to move 25 feet. And he's going to flank this creature and he's going to try and save his good buddy, Brew. But um, your boots. So what about your boots? I know. Well, look. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Oh, God damn. <laughs> He'll take a pop of the rapier at advantage. Here we go. Go for it. Uh, it'll be a straight roll, I'm afraid, because the blur around this thing is just even for your sharp eyes. And that should be the clue you know to know what happened to it as a player. Uh, so that's a 17 uh, will still hit, though. I don't really, but anyway. Um, so that is... Okay, so 17. God damn. That is that's... 13 points of piercing damage. Uh, it's still... Uh, uh, which is not magical, is it? 13. No. So uh, it yes. doesn't do the damage you expect, but it no. does do some damage. I'll use my bonus action to take a swipe with the dagger. Go advantage, but not advantage. 13. That'll uh, be another 7 piercing. That will be uh, 7 piercing down to 3, because you don't get sneak a second time round. Uh, I didn't get sneak. Oh, I did get the sneak, didn't I? Sorry. So it was 13. Well, actually, no, you wouldn't get sneak because it wasn't with advantage. So no, you wouldn't yeah, get sneak. but he's in combat with... Um, yeah, it's it's within five... With, uh, with he's Brew. engaged with an ally. Oh, yeah, no, so, you get, yeah, yeah. so you would have sneak from the first that one. Been, yes. That would have been 13 plus 7. It would have been so a total of 20 of those two attacks. Yeah, reduced down to 10. Um, I just got a d4 from uh, Kate from It's a Map, so I'm going to roll that now if that's all right. It's a 1. Every little helps. <laughs> um, and... Oh, sorry, plus one. That's right. Uh, and um, Iron Mind gets 1d4 as well. 
Uh, would someone like to roll that, or should I roll Iron Mind's extra 1d4 oh, health? D4. Here's a d4 coming at you. Oh. That's a two. It's one better. It's two. It's one, it's uh, one better. He will. He will definitely take it. That certainly helps him. I think I'll uh, move nope. my last five feet of movement to there just to uh, sort of interpose these, this, my, this thing between. Yeah, yeah. Not, not just that we'll, to... you know, mechanically help, but thematically. Yeah, so yeah thematically. Got. Yes, uh, Rowan. Okay. Uh... You can see that some of the acid that you put in this thing has been sort of washed into the murky waters, but there's still traces of it permeating this thing. Okay, okay. Uh, Rowan is going to put out his non-sword hand and start doing like puppet motions and you'll see tiny little blue strings going off of his fingers but only like an inch or two and then disappearing and then uh, out of his backpack the thing will climb um, uh, uh, you should be able to drag that out wherever you want indeed uh, to start uh, just Right over there. And um, then. I love he... the face of the rest of the party going, ooh, ah. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> does it move in like a jerky movement? What kind of movement? Or is it, is it smooth and. and it, it, actually, it actually looks quite natural. Like, okay. It seems, like it seems someone w- w- which every step is very practiced. It's not like click, oh, click, wow. click. It's okay. very, very smooth. Um, nice. Uh, but there are like gears and stuff spinning on it as it's doing this Um, and then he will turn to this method meth head Uh, (laughs) method uh, sorry can I can I just put her over there please yeah that's fine and then he will take a step forward into the water and uh, take a conductor's edge slash yep. at this thing with a booming blade if that's fine of you go for it uh 17 hits 12 slashing damage holy moly good hit nice <laughs> so you go in you all see kind of the this thing ripples now to and fro as if there's this thunderous energy now coursing within it and then wow. okay. uh, I'm going to step away from it again. It's got okay. a reach of, does it have a reach of 10 feet? It does not take range? an opportunity attack at you at this point. Perfect. Then I'm going to take another step back. At this point, however, uh, it does take a swing at you. The marionette will use a reaction to oh, give a disadvantage. Just, yeah, I don't think it's going to matter with an 11, but just in case it's a... Nope. Okay. See. Wonderful. Uh, okay, he takes a step back and um, moves this way to get closer to the group. Uh, how many feet do I have left? One, Five, two, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to get over there and then okay. uh, um, I'm going to use my bonus action to tell her to move as well and come stand between me and Ari. Okay. And she'll move that way. And all good. This is poised and delicate, fluid motion as this marionette travels across. Uh, Maybe it does like a little one of those 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 jumps. A, li- a, a jeté. Yeah, that's the one. I should probably okay. look up on these things. <laughs> know what they are at least. Okay. Yep. Yeah, nope. She'll do a jeté at one point. That's absolutely fine. Uh, Brew. You've got yeah. these little small. <laughs> Point to you. Um, just gonna do old faithful. Uh, short sword. Nine. Uh, nineteen will. Uh, sorry, seventeen definitely hits. Uh, four. Paul Pearson, yep. And then an unknown strike. Uh, 10 will not hit. Um, just in case it matters, uh, it's magic damage. The 12 I did. 
Yep, no, I took... I, okay, yep. okay, okay. Just, yeah, no, the, just, that, it's definitely looking damaged now and less watery than it was before. It's struggling to hold itself together. Does it bleed? I mean... <laughs> not that you can tell, unless it's bleeding water. Can I kill uh, anything else, Brew? No, that's it. Alrighty, that's that one, so... Let's roll me D6 Taurus. Does not get that back. Okay. Um. Oh, can you roll me 2D4, please, Rowan? That's the top of its turn. Oh, Rowan, that's me. <laughs> uh, only 1D4, right? No, the method didn't go into the water, so it's... Oh, okay. It has not moved since this is its first time of doing anything. Five points of acid. Oof. Well, it feels that, uh, and it will spend its action uh, clearing that out of the way. I'm what does that look that. like? Uh, so what that's doing is it's going almost just down to just below the level of the water, and it kind of seems to invert itself as this kind of carries on this team it's kind of hard to tell because this blurry motion that surrounds it whatever it's doing uh you're kind of just seeing the the acid just seems to drip into the water and dissipate out uh and then it will it flies over to you where it ends up there uh it's no longer got acid so it can't do anything else to you this turn and I in mind. <laughs> the I in mind is going to hold an attack for if the large one comes any closer. Uh, so talking which, uh, do you want to roll your thunder damage, please? Okay, no, golly. As again, it disappears back into the water, and as it lands Six in the water, there's a. Of Thunder damage. Like, a, you've none of you seen a depth charge, but that's essentially what's happened to it. Uh, minus six. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. Come on. Uh, I do not want good. Good life. Nice. That's five, ten. So it's going under the water at the minute. Um, comes back out here. So the Iron Mind will get his held attack. First, uh, there's also the 1d4 for the acid. Oh, yes, thank you. Two more points. Uh, so yeah, the last the acid has now been removed from it. Okay, um, I'm gonna say because it's slightly close, he's gonna use be using the long sword. Uh, Mm. Oh, he, d he does actually. Yes, no, you got you gave him bard at last turn, didn't you, Ari? Yeah. All right. Yeah, he can use that. Come on. Uh, which will be Good a hit. Uh, roll me a d8, please, Ari, while I'm. Uh, one. One is just enough to hit it. So that is. Um, do you add damage from your bardic inspiration? I can't remember what uh, cost. No, you're not. You're what kind of bard is she? No, you won't. It would. No. Uh, law. Uh, no. uh, so it's still nine points of slashing. So it's a pretty, pretty good hit, and looks like it's really struggling to hold on now. Um, oh, sorry, nine reduced. Struggling to hold on, not quite as much. Uh, but it's now it's reaching towards you. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to simply say as it's reaching for you his long sword just comes up and just cuts off the pseudopod that's reaching for you and just, and just splashes into the, onto the ground and the water below uh, top of the round the method on the other side Ketik does not get its thing back. Um, 
Let's say one, two, Sir Richard. And Sir Richard it is. As it turns towards you and takes a swing. What? For a natural oh, nice. 20, Sir Richard. Uh, so you will take... This is the this guy here. Yeah. So you're going to take um, seven points of fire and two points of slashing damage. Look at Brew and say, this is all your fault. <laughs> uh, it. <laughs> yeah, so it's a pretty damn good hit. Uh, Sir Richard, you will all see, is bloodied by this. Um, has definitely looked better. Does not look great at the moment. Um, I need to fix why you all can't see. Anyway. That's all that thing's got. So, Auri, it is over to you. Um, yeah, she was going to use the healing word for Iron Mind, but after seeing that kind of attack, she's going to give it to Sir Richard. Hopefully yeah. this goes well. Because... That was there. 14, you're doing it at second level. Nice. We got 14 uh, points back. Is that right? Um, yeah, Did you mean to cast it at second level? Yeah. All right, no, then yes, you do. Level. Third level? Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Third level? Perfect. Oh my god. You cast third level spells? That's awesome. Can she? She can. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, you can. Yes. <laughs> no, you can't. You're only, no, you're only level three. You shouldn't only, have... Only level three, yeah. Oh. Yeah. You only, you only have second level uh, available. Two. Sorry. So, That's all right. 14 or...? Uh, that would be... You would get... Um, Don't 11 to do points it of healing. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Max roll healing word. That's worth it. Yeah. Um, and she she can still do a cantrip right now, can she? Uh, yes. Yes. So she is going to do her vicious mockery against that big guy because he's too close for her liking. And I'm just checking your spell sheet to see why you got even access to third level spells. Uh, when actually. you, when you I don't cast know why. a spell, it queries you what level do you want to cast. Yeah, it shouldn't let you get away with it, though, if you're. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's fine. Whatever. That's just a chat healing that I got. But. It would be Kate, wouldn't it? Yeah. Kate, honestly. I'll check the joint account tomorrow. And I'll be <laughs> <laughs> <Absolutely depleted. laughs> I paid for my own healing. <laughs> uh, uh, water weird. Uh, what's the save on that? Do you want to throw that into chat? For your um, vicious mockery? Oh, yeah. So she. No, it, will, it will pass, however. Oh. Fair. So, yeah, you call out another insult towards it, but you're a little distracted. Uh, Trying to make sure that Sir Richard's not going to keel over and get the front of his suit dirty, even more dirty. He's been steamed badly now. There are wrinkles in it from where that thing's hit you. It hurts more than the wounds. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. We'll add the psychic damage later for what the actual... um, (laughs) Uh, any movement, Ari? No, she'll stay there. Sure, I'm happy if you want to move. It's absolutely fine. You know, do you know what? She feels quite protected. We're okay. we're good. We're good. All right. Well, fair enough. Just checking. Uh, Sir Richard, talking to Richard. Here. <laughs> yes, he will. Uh, he will. He will move back to you and go. You bastard! You spurted your last spout. And he will uh, give it a blast. So hold on, let me just see. So I got Rake Shadowsity, which is my. Da, 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 da. That's yeah, you good. won't I... get. Um, you are you, any attack on it is disadvantaged at the minute because of the effect that it's cast on itself. Okay, cool. Ooh, which so I guess he's just going to. Uh, yeah, that's innate. So it's still there. Yeah, I think he's going to give it a belt to the the rapier. I yeah, go for it. Myself a magical rapier. That's twenty-one for the magic weapons. Twenty-one is uh... absolutely a hit. But if I won't get that lovely 10 sneak, I'll get the 4 piercing. Uh, what triggers... Oh, I do. Sorry, yes, I do get the sneak. Yes, sorry, yes, I do. The sneak is if there's an ally How do you five dispatch feet. this? That's exactly what you needed. Oh, he will... Uh, with with great vim and vigor and viciousness. Yeah, you bastard. That's what you get. 
Um, and then he will... Um... Before you leave... Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Um, could you and Brew please make me a dexterity saving throw? Death Burst, my favourite carcass album. <laughs> um, dexterity saving throw... Do, 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 do plus five. No blame, Sir Richard. For this one. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> You've got uh, it. Yeah, you both know it's coming, so you're able to come duck out the way before. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, I guess. So he did. He moved five. Um, he did. He moved 10, 15... 20, 25 to there, and just get ready for uh, to start using the, the short bow. All righty, nice. Uh, Rowan, what are you and the clump uh, of marionette up to this today? Uh, we're looking a little clumped here, so I will uh, rotate around this method. Okay. Uh, like that. Uh, I will use my action to uh, use booming blade on on him as well okay uh sorry that's the wrong thing sorry my bad i need to do an actual attack at 22 uh, which, or eight? uh 22. yeah i'll take the 22 that'll be, that'll be okay, fine wonderful uh 11 points of slashing damage it's magical uh it is magical yes uh could you make me a dexterity saving pro has the blade actually Again, that's exactly what you needed. Ooh. Double nines. You, however, are not expecting the explosion that comes out of this thing when you you stab it, uh, and mm -hmm. you will take uh, two points of fire damage. <laughs> the steam just fills your face. You can feel your skin turning red. Nice. Uh, so, but it is dispatched. Uh, cool. And then with my bonus action, I will uh, instruct the marionette to actually attack the water thing. So uh, its movements actually stop being graceful. It like stops and takes a very robotic step forward and punches the method. <laughs> like it's. <laughs> very it seems so against how it's supposed to act to when it does this but uh it's a force empowered to rend 16 to hit uh 16 will hit uh where do i roll the damage for this there's you not... just shoot, if you hover at the word attack it should be able to roll it in chat there we go three, three points force. of force damage you see another section of it flies off and <laughs> as it splashes into the water behind it. Uh, it is still upright. Nice. And now the um, ballerina is kind of standing there, but she's no longer doing ballet because she started attacking, and that's not ballet. Anyway, I mean, as we shows you'll see, really. But uh, lovely. Any any more movement, Ryan? No, it's not going to move. It's going to stay right there. Okay. Uh, Brew, over on to you. Just the water weird left. Yeah. Um, just wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Would I be in range if I wait there? Of him? Of the weird, yeah. Cool. Then I'm going to do that. Just move over there. Um, yeah, uh, short sword. 20. Uh, 20 is a hit. Uh, or two. Uh, yeah. You spin the key point. Slide your flows. Go for it. Fourteen. Uh, fourteen is a hit. And 
13. Uh, 13 is not a hit. Uh, okay. By the by, how do you dispatch this creature? Oh, As nice. you've got just enough on the last one. Yeah, I imagine that with the last punch, it like hits him and then you just like a bunch of it's drops. Like, it. And it's gone. And then I use that same water to clean my hands. <laughs> yeah, so for all you, that last goes through and just. <laughs> the waters just start to ripple and die down and there seems to be nothing else in this area uh, and with that we are out of combat is everybody okay is every I... and it quickly realizes he's speaking to his own boots <laughs> are they okay uh, uh what check what save would you take a roll might just have to be a straight d20 i guess they were they were covered. They were covered. Uh, add, protectors. add a D four, a D twenty and a D four. Let's say you just need to get over ten. Boop boop. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't. You realize if if the mud had come up from underneath, they're not quite properly. That kind of oh, if it drops fast okay. into it. They're not properly rounded because of also you. Yeah, they need to go round the boots. I so see, I see. they're good for splashing. They're not good if you know sudden. You'll have to get that worked on. Yeah, I mean, there's time to work on that. So mm. noted. They're they're fine for now. The wrinkles you could probably get out of the shirt. Yeah, by buying a new shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is still that smell from where you all landed in the sump last time round. So there's still this very strong air of rotted vegetation and. Probably one or two dead animals. Um, so yeah, and that kind of like slightly sweet coin fungoid smell is just. Nice. Didn't realize you could see folks' health bars by just hovering over the token. Some of them, anyway. That's cool. Yeah, I need to check. I've made sure that the numbers are all set up right. I may put some as just max over the yeah. numbers, which is why you weren't meant to see them. No, I can't see the numbers. I can see the bars on uh, like some of them. That's cool. Anyway, he'll uh, um, go over and sit down and uh, try and repair or clean his boots. Uh, I mind. Uh, I'm going to just put the bag out in front of me uh, on the ground, and then um, the marionette will step into the bag, and then I'll lift it up around her, like kind of like those magic shows where it's like they pull up the curtain, and when they pull it down, they have a different dress. But I just zip them up into the bag as I lift it up. And yeah, and you watch, unless you're watching, she just kind of concertinas herself down to she fits into it as needed. Uh, so, uh, Madame, uh, Madame Switch, Medium, Medium sw Switch, Medium Switch, Madame, uh, thank, anyway, you. Anyway. thank you very much. You can give uh, someone in inspiration from uh, from the players or the DM, so your choice. Yeah, so just put the name into chat who you wish to have uh, DM's inspiration. Uh, Neve Gaming says that's the stuff of nightmares, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> They're, uh, They're so, so nice, though. Thank you very much. I appreciate the inspiration. I shall oh, make no. sure to use it well. Thank you. Thank oh, no. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. All right. Does what do you wish to do? Do you wish to carry on pushing through? Or yes, you... I want to get out of the swamp. Do we know the? Do we know the? damned way to the place because i'm sick of this wandering around the marsh all day long blue i thought this was your forte i thought so too <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do we lost here forever I don't blue calm down will you <laughs> don't panic don't panic I don't <laughs> panic it's fine what, 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 panic. really what are we does anybody have any magic or something didn't he cast. That he was also looking for a, a tower or something. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I'll say someone can mm. roll the survival check with advantage. Unsuccessfully, yeah. I might add, but yes, I was looking for I mean, you've been around a, a tower. chunk of this marsh now, so you know where not to go. <laughs> Do we... Good survival. <laughs> survival? What's oh, that? God, thank God. Uh, 18. Yes, you take 
take a moment and you realize on the map there's been lots of bits of flecks of like black spores or something so you wipe those off and oh, okay now i can kind of see a bit better where we're headed to yeah. uh and you carry on squelching through the mud you, you feel that stench is almost permeating through your nostrils um quite positive at this point now you're starting to see animals getting out of your way as they the stench sort of permeates before you um and you're kind of splashing through this murk you can see the fog just roils around you um always at some 60 footish or so distance sometimes a little more sometimes a little less um it possibly gets a bit lighter it's kind of hard to tell if the sun's there somewhere you think it might be um if I could have one more survival check with advantage, please. You can do it, bro. I believe in you. You can do it. Be paying us a bonus for this. <clears throat> you can do it. Oh, I'm yeah. 24. Oh. Uh, definitely must have been just bits on the map that were... I mean, as you push on through... Um, it's not that the fog lifts a bit, but you kind of realise it just... You're noticing there's less of this kind of curved and gnarled branches now. It seems to be a bit more flat area. Uh, the, 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 the sun, the kind of patch of lightness in the sky is now more behind you. you you're guessing um, sort of mid to late afternoon at this point. Uh, but opening up before you, um, you come to the northern end of a lake. Uh, that's all of you. So grab copy and let us move him across to a new uh, 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 where is my where is where is sorry i've entirely lost where you're going to did you say i like <gasps> oh wait it's english never mind and <laughs> uh, uh, oh. mm. yeah, i wait wait I, well, I don't want to know it. What does it mean in your language? What are we? Oh, corpse. Oh. That one. Okay. Yeah. Same, it's the same pronunciation. Lake. Yeah. yeah. Lake. What, what does lekker mean? Lekker is just nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice or good. Lekker. Yeah. Lekker. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Surprise. It's the equivalent uh, of saying sweet as well. Uh, also candy. <laughs> Okay. Oh God, where are uh, we now? So you are going to be shift ping. All right. I should have pulled you all to where you go. You're in the top left, top right corner. Oh, I see. Um. Uh, yeah. So you can kind of see. A, it's uh, this. The visibility is still pretty bad. But you can kind of see now. There was just elements of a fire burning. There's these shapes around it. Well, sorry, where? Uh, down to your oh, see, uh, southwest. southwest. There are yeah. these larger shapes you can kind of see through this fire. Um, so the mist is still obscuring a lot of the thing of this area. Um, but there's something about this. Looks like you might have, you found something for sure. Is there any noise? Uh, you can you can't hear what they're saying, but you hear these. <laughs> It's conversational and not, not chanting. Conversational, yes. Okay, good. The less uh, chanting, the better. Yeah, no, it's not chanting. This is though those figures you can see are seem to be speaking. Um, I don't think any of you will speak that language particularly. So try me. No, I'm kidding. That, uh, that, uh, <laughs> is it gnomish? It is not gnomish. Damn it. It sounds okay. like a language that's designed to carry long distances as well, but you don't know what it is. You can't really tell. I have comprehend this... languages. Does that work? You could cast it if you wanted to try to understand what they're saying. Uh, I'll fish it out to the group and I'll ask them if they would like me to do that. Because I, I can. Yeah, it sounds good. Okie dokie. At least we'll know if, they, if they're talking about the... The humans they're uh, preparing for dinner or mm -hmm. okay so throw that in chat yeah um that's a minus d4 for you for something damn it 
<laughs> okay, so for one hour, um, why does it say by a helm? Oh, do you have the helm of combat? You do have the helm of combat language. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so the literal many things. Okay. Uh, what they are essentially talking about is dinner. Uh, they have eaten all the crocodile, and they're wondering what to eat next. And, they, and, and as you're listening to them, to this, they're sort of, what's that smell? God, that's something hideous coming across. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I've got names. I don't know what their names uh, uh, uh. No, I've lost their names. That's disappointing. Here, Ulfik, go and have a look. See if you can see anything. What is that? <laughs> uh, and one of them gets up and starts to head on over. Yeah, Lumbering this if way. If we were told about this, I would bonus action hide. Behind this rock. Uh, uh, were you doing hide. translations, Ari, or were you just... Oh, no, I'll tell them exactly what I can hear, like, word for word, as they're kind of saying. Okay. Like, Guys, this is not... Their coming this way. They, they sense us. Ah, oh, it's a fucking seven. He just hits his head off the rock. <laughs> uh, are the rest of you doing anything? I'm going just... to take a step back. Just a, just a step back, okay. Uh, I'll hide behind Iron Step line. back and draw a right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oh, so he gets to there to start with, and he's looking around. How far away? Why are you measuring a cone, Tom? Why are you measuring a cone? <laughs> I didn't realize it was set to cone. I just wanted, <laughs> yeah, right. I just wanted the distance. <laughs> um, okay. So from there, let's have him roll a little cheeky perception check. No way. 2GM. No way. It's fine. Does it need it? Wow, are you all real? Good grief. <laughs> so he kind of gets to here and he just basically you just see him looking around, thinks the other two thinks the guys around there can't see him. He's basically just standing behind this kind of ramshackle hut. And he's not really paying any attention. Is 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 that sixty foot uh mist? Oh right. well in that case in that in that first, you know, you saw a shape move away out of from away from the fire. And you don't know quite where they are. Okay. And then after a moment, uh, you hear, uh, Ari, you'll hear the voice go, nothing there. Must be just, maybe the old water weirds pick something up in his passing. And I'll fucking kill him again if he comes back. Yeah. Still doesn't solve the question of dinner. Why is that still and there? So, I mean, you can see, so you can see across this fairly shallow water that goes across to this, the marshy land in the in this is the middle of it. Um, what can, where are you up to? What have you, what have you got on site to, Sir Richard? Uh, yeah, you can see these creatures kind of around the fire to that point, um, and you're where this kind of island pushes so, on. How can I see them there, but I couldn't see the the guy that was here? Moved out of the range of the fire. Ah, okay, okay, now I get you. Cool, understood. Um, I guess he's going to try and quietly walk across. Okay. Is it, like, is it... Uh, is make it, me a... Do me another stealth check, because you are going into yeah, water. Sure. Yeah, um, okay. He'll also test how deep it is, but, you know, if it's... Uh, waist, I mean, it comes... High, it comes up to just before waist height, okay. and then it kind of... There's a little stealthy there. Hopefully the water will uh, have an advantage. 17 or 21 if the water gives an advantage. Uh, okay. Uh, I, will, I will take the rolls and I won't tell you what I'm checking against. Okay. Uh, you believe that? yourself to be stealthy? Of course he does. Uh, anyone else who's crossing, can I please get a stealth check? Are you, just like, uh, are you sure this is the right way? Uh, Brew, as you get to there, um, part of the ground gives way underneath you. And this, you, you instinctively grunt as you catch yourself. So you don't fall into the water, but there's very definite sound of something coming in. And there's a, huh? 
definitely something on the island. Oh no. Uh -oh, guys. As soon as this guy comes out, he'll shoot from a hidden position. Intrude! Ow! Yeah. Take the shot and then we'll roll initiatives. Boop. Do I get the advantage from being hidden? Uh, it doesn't matter. Take the 18. Okay. That'll be 16 points of damage. 16 points of damage then. Ooh, that's a good hit. Fink. Uh, and we will head straight back into initiative then. Did you see, Bru? I got him! I got him! Did you see it? Well done. Thank you. Air five. Thank you. Air five. <laughs> yes. And as he air fives, he will check to see if Bruce still has a friendship plate. Like, press it on that he gave him. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, they won't, you know, so they should. <laughs> don't, don't speak of such a day. <laughs> Sorry, uh, let me do a roll initiative here for my boy. Oh, look at that, 19. Why didn't I fucking go Assassin Rogue? Why did that not work for me? Oh, my thing's not working. Sorry, two seconds. I just need to check my uh, macros. Uh, my APIs are working. Let's see. Let's see. Mods. No, the sandbox is. You start the sandbox. That's better. Let's try that again. In it. There we go. Uh, I'm to roll for Iron Mind again, well, don't I? I mind doop 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 doop. Book. Appropriate though, as he's so far behind everyone. Uh, let's sort. And Sir Richard, you maintain the lead in the initiative. I don't know what roles you've been doing, what gods you've been praying to recently, Dave, but your initiative was definitely on the up. Yeah, 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 they're up, they are up. <laughs> um, uh, so Sir Richard will, lock, will knock another arrow and I go, um, this one's special delivery for you, sir. I am Sir Richard. I am not to dinner. Here we go. Boop. It's a lot of dice. 17 to hit. Uh, 17 hits. Nine pier for nine piercing. Uh, nine piercing. Minus eight. I can see you about that. Uh, and you understand this, Sir Richard, oh. as it now speaks in common. Um, he <laughs> look around, he look at over, <laughs> look around at Bruno. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> um, right, right. Um, I shall. Mm. There's nothing really to bonus action to hide behind, so I think he'll just. No, no, there's not. <laughs> no, he just moved here and go. We've got this, haven't we, Bruno? We've got this. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Everything's going sure. to be fine. <laughs> That's all he's got. Okay. Uh, Go get him, buddy. <laughs> oh. No, no. Ah, my mouse is playing up. Do the thing. Hook. As one runs around the hut that way. Um, what are they? Do we know? Um, make a a nature check, I guess, for these guys. Boop. Twelve. Twelve. Um, I'll say enough. You know enough that these are uh, uh half ogres. Oh. You don't know much more about them than that. Uh, the bad half. Really but they're standing sort of uh, probably around seven, eight feet tall, quite broad. Um, they've got javelins sort of crudely stashed on the back, and they're carrying these very large battle axes. And they look like they, they look like they're very interested to meet two of you and get to introduce you further to their axe. <laughs> Is that spelled M E A T? <laughs> <laughs> Nice to meet you. They look like they wish to inflict dinner upon you. Oh no. Uh, that's all Belg can do. So, Brew. Belg. Yeah, so uh, seeing the other one also get closer, Brew's gonna just move one to the left, 
so that he's almost like between both of them and Sir Richard. Um, and then just say, "There's a uh, grab Sir Richard and throw him over his shoulder." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then just uh, say, "Oh shit!" And then uh, hold an action, an attack action. I hope this cat is sneak attack. Okay. Uh, lovely. Um, so this guy will go. Let's see. Lock thirty. Thank you. Sixty. A third on. Bearing down on you. Uh, but they dashed to get there, so that's all he can do. Erdogan! What can you see from where you are back here? You can certainly hear... Yeah, you've just seen this one. This kind of half-ogre form has just lumbering into view. I say lumbering. Charging into view. Um, I'm going to bring out the marionette again immediately. Okay. Uh, and instruct her with my bonus action to stay close to Ari. Um, okay. Keep an eye on them. Uh, and then I'm going to try and cross the river. I'm assuming it's half movement, right? Um, yes, it would be. I wasn't concerned before because we weren't in any combat, but it is. Because it's up to your thighs, it does, it will slow you down to go across. Okay. i make it up to there. Yep. Uh, any action? Yeah, I suppose I can dash as an action. Yeah. So I'll just get on dry land. Okay. And then take it from there. Sounds like a plan. Uh, Harry... So the clockwork marionette is now shadowing you. Uh, and again, you can just see this one large lumbering humanoid form who's come out of the mist. Yeah, he Make is. Any violence on their mind. Really? Yeah, she will... She will move a bit up, I think. She'll do... Was it half movement then? Uh, so we five foot on that first one, and then anything in water is ten foot movement per square. Uh, so you go five, ten, fifteen, twenty foot. You could get to just behind Sir Richard if you went straight across. Uh, around there. Uh, wait, or is that too far? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. No. Sorry, five, fifteen, twenty-five. Uh, I'll allow it. Yeah, so you can dash if you wish. Uh, you can, I mean, you can certainly get to here and you'd be on 25 yeah, movement. that's okay. And then All if right. you want to dash, or you can do... There, and I'm just going to do Vicious Walkery on this, this guy. I can't click on him. The one that's kind of in front of the broom. This one? Yeah. Okay. Um, All righty. That's, that's it. Did you mean to roll that, Rowan? Or was that you just seen what the button did? Wait, I clicked on something? Sorry. That's all right. Uh, 14 or wisdom save. Um, uh, what are you, what's your vicious mockery? Um, she was going to go, your existence is proof that failure has a sense of humor. Don't know what you're fucking talking about. This is our fucking land. We'll do you over. Thank you for <laughs> uh, it does... It does not seem affected. No. <laughs> no. Um, that's uh, all she's any bonus actions? Okay. Uh, this gentleman of here will... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Go to there. Uh, and then he pulls out one of the javelins and he'll throw towards you, Brew, as your nearest. Okay. Uh, 14 to hit. I don't think is enough. No, it's not. No. Right. For one second, you're actually perched on it as if you're going to stand on it, and then it just kind of <laughs> slips out the ground, but you're easily landed on it. Uh, Iron Mind. Oh, 
with a hack here. Five, ten, fifteen. Um, get to there. And then you can't see the crystal. I've got to get out of doing cones. Um, right. Yes, it's scary. <laughs> Iron Mine breathes a breath weapon on the whole party. Oh, yeah. Secret dragon comes out on this way and suddenly. Um, so he casts. Uh, I don't know if you'd have seen this, Roan, but um, there is a, a bolt of energy comes out from the Iron Mind. Um, we're going to say towards that one nearest to you, Brew. Uh, which intelligence save? But they've got minus two intelligence save, so I'm pretty confident they've got this. Okay. See? Absolutely, they got this. Uh, so you see that one nearest to you is, ah, the bolt kind of grabs his temples for a moment, takes four points of the psychic, and puts the rider on mind sliver. Uh, subtract d4 from the next saving throw. Alrighty. That one. With that, we go back to the top of the round to Sir Richard. Hello, hey, chaps. Here we go. Bro, what should I do? What should I do? Fight. <laughs> Obviously. Because I know Ranger, Ranger Melee. Where I'm a bit. Oh, I'm so. Oh, um. Um, which is the one that I that I mutilated earlier? That one there? Uh, this is the one you you can still see the arrow sticking out of this one. Okay, so a Ace, Gary. Uh, uh, Ulthic. If you, this is Ulthic at the bottom. Ulthic. Well, it's going to be all thick with arrows in a second. Five, <laughs> ten. Is he fighting talk? Well, my friend, time for you to die. Wait till you see what I have in store for you. Boop. That's a sixteen to hit. Uh, sixteen hits for nine piercing. Oh, nine piercing. Uh, and this is not a happy person. He's still alive. He is still alive. You look over to Bruno. Just shit. barely. Shit, bro. he didn't but... die. He didn't die. <laughs> yeah, well, for one moment you think he is, and there's just uh, the other one's now sort of off. stuck, just in that kind of the shoulder bit there. You, I just miss all the important stuff. But Bruno, yeah, Bruno, um, gesture to him like so close. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. Shit. Uh, okay. Cool. He will. Can he bonus action hide behind Brew? <laughs> um, if you wish. <laughs> uh, no, I think he needs to be a small creature to do that, doesn't he? Um, he uh, I mean, he can certainly try. It's not going to work. But you're allowed to stand behind and try and make nah, it. Nah, like... he'll, move, he'll move to there, I think, and go, You've got this, Brew! <laughs> go, team! Uh, I'm knocking, I'm knocking another arrow. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30! Bro, you've got some company. Did you have a held attack? I did. Okay. Uh, that would have been the short sword. Sixteen. Uh, Sixteen hits. So it's a very he comes in very angry with his battle axe raise. It's a really easy swing for you just to duck out the way of it and just slip the short sword up and slides against the ribs. Yeah, get fucked. Like a piece of half elf scum. Oh. <laughs> um, and oh. is it actually my turn now? Uh, uh, it is now your turn. Yes. Yeah. I was going to go for this guy, but after the insult, I'm going to go for that one. So. <laughs> um, and he'll do a short sword again. <laughs> I did press the button. Okay. Uh, 20 definitely hits. 9 puts damage. Oof. Uh, he is definitely bloodied now as you sh sh carve up against the other rib. And then uh, dick punch you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <I must> <laughs> what? <laughs> you attempt to, but you haven't quite got the size of this measure. Oh, yeah. Instead, you slam into his abs. It's like, oh, the yeah. abs are good. These are yeah. good abs. <laughs> He's ugly, but the abs are good. 
Uh, anything else, Brew? Um, no, that's it. <laughs> um, so this one here goes. Oh, they smell worse than you do, old thick. Hold them off. I'm gonna go get Mama. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I'm sorry, what? Five, <laughs> ten, fifteen. Did he run and got his mommy. Do you want to get uh, Mama? Uh, I mean, if you don't use this as a vicious mama? mockery, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I see. I'm going that way. So he's running past this uh, brew. I think from where you are, the sh- the kind of ground. Yeah, you can see this ground here, uh, saturated with dried blood, and it's obviously where they prepare their food. Okay. And you can see the staining from where they've repeatedly paired through there a lot. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Rowan, it is your turn. Mm. I'm not too keen on getting close to these guys, but I will go over there and uh, lay into this guy. Uh, what do you want? And then um, uh, Rowan's blade will begin to hum again, but he kind of holds it behind him as he runs up to the guy. It's like, what do you want? And he just take kind of like sidesteps his own sword as he thrusts it forward and stabs it into his side. Uh, nice. No, nope, that's the wrong thing. Sorry. Uh, 18 will hit. Or oh. six points of slashing six damage. Points. And then if he if he moves, he'll take thunder damage. But that's yeah. Not... And again, the rest of you then see this the, the energy ripple you saw on the water wheel is now kind of reflected again um, on this humanoid creature. Uh, lovely. Uh, any bonus actions? Does the marionette need to catch up? Yeah, the marionette um, runs like. <laughs> jumps into the water, like dives face first into the water and then pops out next to Ari and stays there once again. Because that what is what it was instruction. I love the idea of this nice gentle thing just occasionally goes T1000 and just what the hell? <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, talking about Ari, it's over to you. I think that's yeah. over to you, right, isn't it? She is going to get herself onto some dry land. If uh, I click that button. 15 feet, we will get you to there. Yep, yeah, she will stay there and then she will just do her usual of her mockery against the one that attacked Brew. Because how dare he? Okay. Oh, I have to click the thing. Nope. Uh, Wisdom save. He has a minus one, so he's definitely got this. So if these things are half orcs, what is the other half? Half ogres, these are. Half ogres, sorry. What is it? What is the other half? You didn't roll high enough to find out. Bugbear? <laughs> uh, your um, raised word, I just looks over and goes, What the fuck is that supposed to be, little girl? I'll make you fucking scream. <laughs> uh, uh, any bonus actions? She will give um, Bardic Inspiration to Brew. Okay. So you haven't got many of those left. But that... uh... I think that's it then. I think I'm out. I can't remember if you got through four at this point. I can't remember. Offhand. That's fine. Um... I have one left. So this one uh, sees you on your own, Sir Richard. Three, four, um, five. Only what? No! Uh, it comes to you, and at that range, he's got a javelin, and at close range, he's almost kind of. They're over to... there! <laughs> You're the one who's been sticky, me. That's right. I'll stick you again, you swine! How's the 15? Uh. It's AC. I'll get it open here. It's 16. So just at the last minute, you're able to just kind of twist out the way. Takes, and now you can just see this under not ruthlessly curved battle outside. I'm going to fucking gut you first. It looks like your guts are halfway out on the floor from my, my little pins, you spine. 
You're mine, uh, bitch. Moving on to... 10, 20, gets to there. Um, who's the Iron Man going to protect first? Who seems in more danger? So, Richard, you seem in more danger, don't you, I guess? To his thing. So he will mind sliver again the creature in front of you. He's attempting to kill still, Sir Richard. Um, intelligence save. Book. No. Uh, and as he's there, standing before you, where he felt like you see blood starts trickling out his nose and his nose what? his ears and no, no. <laughs> as he claps to the floor, in that shade of fucking. Uh, one is minded to say you are welcome, Sir Richard. He does. <laughs> speak of this later. At you. <laughs> uh, and he will then pull out the halberd and is now turning to face the remaining half ogre. Uh, Sir Richard, it is to you. Uh, okay, cool. So, um, can I. I was sort of out of squares. Can I say I was in this square? Yeah, that's right. With you? Okay, cool. So he will. Um, <clears throat> we've got five. 10 and he what's this do, do we have a name for this one uh you never got this one's name i can tell you what it is no he'll, he'll just go look see see you and he'll jab his his rapier in, into the the creature as he runs by and he goes <laughs> i killed your friend so if i 10 15 20 25 30 i think i'll get into there i don't think that'll count as flanking uh, roll that... me a deception check as you're running past <laughs> okay this is probably not going to be... This is probably going to do more harm than good. Oh, that's in that one for a two. Uh, there's a moment you think he might have said, like, oh, you fucking didn't. I saw you. <laughs> um, so he's going he's to... Like, what? Yeah, I think so. Unfortunately, he's going to have to... He, he, so he can't use fancy footwork to move away. So he's going to go two attacks. Um, do, 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 do. Here we go. First one. He doesn't have an advantage in this. So he's not nope. flanked. That will be... Oh, good an eight Jesus. will not do it. Do I have a bless? I'm going to throw a bless onto that. Where, is it... Are you? Would you tell me if the four wouldn't make it? Or... Um, I mean, you've hit also, if you roll the full four. amount, you might well be able to. Just enough. Oh, Dave okay. likes to gamble, and I like a gambling man. Let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh that's 16. Oh, sorry, that's 10 points of piercing now. It's 16. Because he's engaged with an ally. Yes. Uh, and how do you dispatch Paul Belge? Oh, it will, I'm, I, yeah, I'm sorry to be so cross, but he will go right up his bum. And he'll <laughs> give it, he, he, will, he will give it a, a left and a right. He'll pull it out and hope that <laughs> it doesn't evacuate on top of him. And um, then uh, you, your your blade does not look as clean and as shiny as it did previously. It's all right. As you, Charles III, this gentleman. I say gentleman. <laughs> um, uh, and he will look over at the guys and go, well, 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 wasn't that great? And he'll do that Zorro kind of flick of I will blade. say as well, that guy's now landed face first, bottom up facing you as a result of that <laughs> as well. <laughs> um and he'll do I mean, that and of... the smell that surrounds you you can't tell what's happening <laughs> yeah. you can't smell anything extra at least that's one one small mercy for he'll do that an anime blade flick except it's not blood and uh that comes off it's the blade. really not and he uh he'll look, he'll look at Bruno and go I got him did you see I got him well done Sir Richard thank you uh that's that one uh Brew so you can hear the sound of this ogre charging down to the south um, I think he'll just move a bit closer and then okay. uh, go and like hunch down and wait for them. <laughs> All right, just casually, like, just sit and wait for them. And then, okay, his, and just point to the dead, dead ones. Yeah. Okay, uh, oh, uh, so the one there? here is not looking towards you he carries on and uh, there's a sound of wooden boards you hear the sound of a, 
Under attack! Intruder to the north! Intruder to the fucking north! Uh, and you're going to have to give him minutes while I add some more initiative rolls into all this. Oh no. Doop a doop a doop. This is always the fun bit. Doop a doop a doop. Doop a doop. Uh, I might suggest as well we might want to take a break at this point as the yeah. next lot come in. Um, as it's 10 o'clock and we've not broken yet. Um, I'm not broken. I am. On the inside. <laughs> Oh, uh, what have I done? Where have I gone? What have I done? Where am I? I moved pages. I see what I did. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so if you want to, I will take a break there. We will see you all you find people back here in five to ten as we find out uh, exactly who Mama is and what's on her island. Uh, thank you all very much, and we'll see you soon. All right.
and welcome back to part two of tonight's episode here in the Candlekeep Mysteries. Our party, for those who may have joined us during the break, uh, have just found themselves on an island in the middle of a swamp where the half ogres seem to be residing. Uh, and there's definitely signs of movement from the south. Uh, we are straight back in the middle of an action and we are going to Rowan. You have seen hey. oh, this half ogre charge off. You can hear him calling out um in common there are there are invaders uh and then the tone switches to a different language which you don't understand but you definitely hear shouting coming from the south uh okay yeah rowan is going to be like see if this works and he will his sword is going to like try and slowly drag it through the air um and then they will come like uh kind of like um like a hymn sound kind of like a church hymn kind of playing and he will turn around and he will touch uh the iron mind behind him and cast cure wounds Ooh. on him because I notice he's looking a little hurt. He is looking a little hurt, so he will take it. One, thanks you. One second there. Uh, cure wounds, cure wounds, cure wounds. Why can't I find it? There we go. Cure wounds, first level. Good points of healing. Nice. Uh, he definitely looks a little better after that. It's book. And, uh, this one thanks you, uh, Rowan. You're very welcome. And Rowan will take a note of that. That it did indeed work. And uh, it's going to take a step, a couple of steps these this way. Also, okay. the marionette will crawl out of the water again and still harass uh, Freya. Um, okay. Hurry. Because, uh, yeah. That's what, what it was instructed told. to do. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. If they're just like doing like a, um, like kind of like, kind of like when you're kind of shepherding someone, but, but kind of like <laughs> acting them, like putting their hands around them ready to, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Uh, Ari, who's next from around this hot cook and marionette? What would you like to do? <laughs> just freaking uh, out. You can hear that this, um, does the helm allow you to understand what the language is? I guess it probably does, doesn't it? Um, let's say it does. Uh, so they, this half ogre is speaking in giant, but essentially it's still invaders to the north. <laughs> They've killed Ulflik and Belge. Invaders. Don't forget the music. Um, yeah, or even, so she can hear that she you can uh, you, it's, you can hear him call speaking in yeah. that language and you can understand what's being said so it's okay. not that you know the language it's that you're able to understand what's being said so okay yeah she's definitely going to just shout that out to everyone going like okay i don't know what's coming but uh they know we've killed their family or friends or whatever um but she's just gonna hold her place for now they are okay. long ones anyway yeah. Uh, 100% but um, they're quite big you will hear echoing across the island there's this sort of undulating um, echoes out and through uh, he's dead he does something uh, I mind what would Iron Mind be doing? We're moving him forward to start with. Do you want him doing anything else? Mm. What class is Iron Mind? Uh, he is a fighter. Well, Can he you look, I mean, he's in heavy armor. He's carrying a halberd at the minute, long sword at his side. Uh, you have some cast spells, oddly. Can Just he do a second win? Uh, his bonus action. 
He can. I'm wondering whether or not I want to use that yet or not. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, if, do he, if he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to. Save it for later. Then uh, I think he would have done if you hadn't healed him. Ah. Drats. As, as, <laughs> as you have. Well, it might have been more than he could have got. So. Um, if nothing else, he'll just ha- ha- take the dodge action. Yeah. Um, doesn't sound unless, like a bad choice. unless the plan is to push on forward, in which case he'll charge forward, but uh, otherwise he'll just be taking the dodge action. Um, that's that one. Just there. Okay. Uh, so, Richard. Uh, cool. Yeah, I have no idea why. I have no music, but I will give it a blast. So, can, I can't see anything coming yet. Nope. Hmm. There's definite sounds of shouting hmm. from the south. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And you've heard that weird undulating cry once. Okay, cool. So, I guess what Richard will do is he'll, um, he'll give this guy just a kick in, in the rump. And um, go, fuck you, you bastard! You go 5, 10, 15, uh-huh. 20, 25, 30. And he will go bonus action up to here. Is there anything in the tent? Um, so you're, this is actually a very crude and ramshackle hut. It's going to be made from sort of just abandoned swamp wood stuck together. Uh, the door's around the other side. So you, you... Or can he lift the thing up and see if there's anything in it? Because he wants to hide. It, you know, it's, it's a hut. Oh, sorry, hut. Sorry, okay, right. Well, look, he'll, he'll, yes, it, yeah, he'll, he'll sort of hide there then. So that's his movement, that's yeah. his bonus action, and he will action hide. Um, well, yeah, that's fine. This amazing stealth check. Here we go. Do, 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 do. I need to figure out what's going on on my computer. I can't check or anything. Yeah, just call the... the, the um, that's an ace. Look at you that. <clears throat> you get the feeling that anyone coming from the south wouldn't be able to see you, but the problem is there's this smell still permeating. Yeah. So... Doggo. Hey, Fizz. Fizz you go to ignore us again as normal. Here you are, yeah. Hello, Doggo. Uh, uh, what does... <laughs> He's going to go and get a cushion hold. Okay. Uh, He's dead. That one will move. Uh... Okay. Uh, Brew. Um, yeah, Brew will move up a bit to his right there next to Iron Mind and still just wait for them. It's like he, he's like almost mocking them for being so slow. Um, standing <laughs> there, like wiping the blood off his sword. And, yeah. Okay. That's me. Uh, not that you can see it all at the minute, I don't think, can you? Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so from where you are at the minute, you can kind of see where the ground rises up yeah. quite s- steeply behind this, this butcher's yard in front of you. Um, okay. Uh, which one's that one? That is that one. Uh, more shouting. Uh, Rowan. Uh, mm-hmm. No. Uh, yeah, I'm mean, just going to... Move closer, still keeping those people between me and whatever's coming. And um, I still instruct the marionette to keep harassing Ari. Uh, okay. I mean, protecting Ari. Uh, Thanks. And then uh, <laughs> that, that thing will stay there. Um, and yeah, that's my turn. I don't want to cast any spells. Until I know what's happening. What Sponge and Master in chat. Uh, ben, if there's something you particularly want our mind to do at some point, do shout. Um, but I will... Unless you particularly want to join in, um, I can pilot him for now. Uh, Ari! Um, what are you and your fan doing? I guess we're going to move. <laughs> um, just in a little bit. So 5, okay. 10, 15, 20. She's going to move to there. Wait for her friend to follow... She's gonna wait it out. Swish, swish, okay. swish, swish. <laughs> <laughs> no held actions. Hello. Um. Yeah. Okay. We'll try it. I've not done that before. We'll do that. 
Okay. Uh, uh, by the way, um, Tom, it's staying closer and doing the dodge action okay. the whole time. Until I yeah, instruct it to attack, then it stops doing the dodge action. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Uh, that one goes first. And move, move on to that one. Stop this. Uh, he dead. Oops, wrong player again. Uh, Iron Mind. Do you want to keep pushing forwards or do you want to hold position for now? God, if I had a lightning bolt, I could just do that across your front line. It'd be lovely. Anyway. Um, I, I think hold. Um, we hold position? Of, yeah, we sort of have an okay. idea of the layout. Yeah, so. All right. Iron <clears throat> Mind uh, continues to take the dodge action. Uh, that does that. Uh, Sir Richard. It's harder to use my mouse because my dog is on my mouse hand right now. So I'm going. <laughs> There's no sign of any enemies. So um, there is no sign of any enemies that you cannot see. Oh, I guess he'll hold an action. I don't know. And I, I do you know. I think he's a bit of a, a, an idiot. So I think he might uh, five. 10, 15, 20, 25, and go in. Okay. Um, it's a good thing you've been in stench for a day or so because it stinks in here as well. Uh, there's some furs that have come off something and it's definitely oh. not been properly tanned that might be being used as a bed. Um, there's some rags in the corner. You're not sure what they were used for. You don't want to go any closer to those things because there's some definite staining. Um... Dang. There's not a lot in this. This is not the hut of someone who lives well. This is the hut of someone who is scraping by. Okay, he will hold the attack action um, okay. from inside, just inside the door. Um, I guess he will bonus action hide, just to be sure okay. to be sure that he's hidden. So let me just pull that yep. out. Da -da -da. Here comes the stealth. It's gonna be shit. They're all shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Possibly That's you've seven. made the spell around yourself even worse now. He, yeah, he was way of stench. It's possible you've actually seen the fire just sparkles briefly for a moment as it passes over it. Yeah. Uh, That's all he's got. That's fine. So. Uh huh. Yeah, he's dead. That's true. Back to you. Um, I'll move a bit closer, but only just like okay. To there. Cool. Um, you can see the the rear half of some sort of swamp lizards in there. Which is what that I thing is in the ground. Yeah, just the rear half. Um, yeah. uh, it looks like it's a very crude butchery <laughs> job to have removed. You don't know where the front is. Okay. Uh, okay. And from where you are. Oh, no, you can't. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, he is still there. Rowan. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just looking at Dave's dog on Discord. Um, <laughs> yeah, Rowan's like that's fair uh, sod it all and he will move closer uh, 30 feet yep right up there I don't see anything right uh, where are you on there uh, from there no you don't and then I will use my action to move another couple of feet Okay. Can and I you might start too? seeing. You might start. You can just see the outline of something there. Yes. 
there are some pillars in front of you if you wanted to take a step slightly closer. Or yeah, you can duck I'll, back uh, in behind the Take a the step behind, behind, behind the pillar okay. here. Yeah, you will get half cover for anything to the south from there. Okay, perfect. Uh, cool. Ari. Yeah, she's seen everybody else kind of hide, so she's thinking about doing the same thing. <laughs> but... <laughs> Oh, that shouldn't teach you to hide, my word. There's nowhere, there's nowhere really for her to go. Good <sighs> luck hiding of a hunk of metal going behind you like... <laughs> <laughs> like I've got an air tag in my pocket, she's just following me <laughs> everywhere I go. Yeah. Yeah, she's... A few seconds of respite as you move away, there's a... Clank, 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 clank. <laughs> like... Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Uh, any actions? No, she's just going to stay there. Do you want to just be taking the dodge action just in case something attacks oh. you unexpectedly? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, yes, please. That's fine. We can have that set up. Uh, cool. The next one's going to there. Um, not yet for her. He did. Uh, road, you'll see that second shape walk past up this sort of sound of boards, possibly as if he's walked up something. But that second one has appeared into view. I believe you can see them. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, does that look like Mother? It looks very similar to the ones you've already seen. So it's, it's, not, it's not what I would uh. think is their mother. No, definitely male. Uh, I mind. I've seen people go forward, so... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... Oh, hello. Um, oh, oh, hello. Hello there. Hello. I and mind will call out there's two more of those creatures. What? Um, and I think they're actually in range for him. Uh, uh, yeah. Ben is sort of playing in chat. <laughs> in Twitch chat, he's giving us heads up as to what he, what he would do. Go on, Ben. I don't like this idea that you know something bad's coming. I think that's just mean yeah, spirited. It's you, Tom. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I might all use <laughs> his. Well, I'm sweet and innocent, me. I don't know what you mean. Uh, so I might all use his, that crystal again. Glows on his forehead. Uh, he'll go towards the one you'd seen previously. Who needs to make an in? Intelligence save. We're just minus two. He's absolutely got this. Look at that. No worries at all. Uh, so this one here, who you saw run away previously, uh, a couple of you here. The uh, as the psychic damage takes effect. Um. Which one is it? Is it that one? Yes, it is that one. Good, good. Um, I need the sheet. Check some quickly. Why is that not bringing the sheet up for me? You'll never win roll 20 does one of its. I'm not opening stuff for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where is that? I lost the character sheet for the thing I'm trying to move. That's always disappointing. You can alt double click the token. Yeah, that's not working. Nor is opening the character sheet from then the token it's, itself. it's hidden somewhere on the page that you can't see. That's what always happens. Yeah, to I hate when that happens. Uh... The only thing you can do is refresh, and then just open everything uh, from the oh. beginning again. 
So yeah, it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it too much for now. I'll worry about it in a minute. Uh, that does that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, no, not that sheet. That's the wrong sheet. That one will go. Uh, um, Sir Richard. Uh, so nothing has come out. Did does Ori and Brew look like they're looking at something? Uh, no, I might just called out. He can see a couple of the oh, half okay. ogres. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty to the south. Twenty-five, thirty. Fuck's sake! Uh, but the mists are just too. It five, keeps swirling. Ten bonus action dash. That'll do it. Fit. Oh, sorry. Five. Sorry. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Do you know yeah. what? He'll, he'll just go 25. Um, and he'll take a pot shot. At Which one are you shooting fellow, at? Hello, I think. Do they. Are they. Is there anything. This one looks like he's taken a bit of damage. You can see there's like a trail of blood coming down off an ostrich off one ear. Oh, there's more coming. It's in the post. Here he goes. Draws a short bow and goes pew. Pew. That's a 23 for five piercing. Uh, that'll certainly do it. And he'll oh, shout out, There's more where that came from, you dolt! And as far as you can go. We've got them, don't we, chaps? Where are, they? Where are you, Rabbi? Oh, what? <laughs> right? Right? Oh, no. 25, 30. You hear the thumping of this something running up wooden boards, and then this third one charges into view. Uh, and there's the, the general rising of half ogre voices as if a battle charge. General voices heads off salute. Uh, that's all he's got. He's there. That one now does. Uh, goes to there. And uh... Ooh. Ooh. Good. that's what we like to see. Uh Bro, it's your turn next. Uh, yeah, seeing the other guys do stuff. Um, he'll move. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Over there. Yeah, he'll move there. Behind that. Right. Or pillow, whatever <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yep. Did you go me. into the blood garden? Yeah. Oh no. No. And that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> it's... Um, and also, yeah, hold the dodge thing. But, uh, yeah. Hold a dodge. Me. Okay. <clears throat> Love it. Uh, so this one will go 5, 10, pushes him right out of 20, 15, 20, 20. Oh, gets there. Uh, he will fling a javelin towards the Iron Mind. Yeah. Oh. As he recognized who attempted. Uh, fuck you and your magic. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. Uh, he'll like, huh. useless plague. Try better. Thank you. Uh, that's all, all he's got. Rowan. <laughs> a marionette moves. Uh, Rowan is going to reach into his bag and pull out what looks like a little box with a wheel on it, with a kind of strings of a um, violin stretched over the wheel. And there's a crank on the side okay. that he's going to start turning. And this uh, it's going to start playing this mm, this kind of like violin sound, like dun, 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 dun. and he's going to stick it on the back of. Um, the iron mind like slap it on his back but it like latches on and uh okay. cast 
uh, heroism. Uh, nice. On uh, on him. Uh, so he's gonna he's gonna have that. I'll throw it in chat so you can remember what that does. He cannot be feared, and he gets temporary hit points at the start of each of his turns. Nice. Of his turns, say, that's cool. Yeah, going to say, uh, get in there, my good man. And uh, to him, it's going to look like I'm giving him a pat on the back, but I'm also just slapping this thing on his back, so he will get in there. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to stay exactly where I am. <laughs> Any bonus actions for your marionette? Uh, I used to stay in there for now. No, I, I, yeah, I used I my bonus moved. action okay. to tell her to move, uh, yeah, and that's fine. Keep, keep doing the, yeah, that's protecting Ari thing. Lovely. Mm -hmm. uh, and to talk to which? What's our bard doing? Not a lot. She can do when they're that stupid. Could she see him from the corner, like? peer around uh, or move uh, one over I think you probably have to move one over to properly yeah. just because of where the eye of mind and the post and the things are yeah. but you can certainly pop around do a spell and pop back if you wanted yeah I'm just going to pop there because she can't really do much at the moment she doesn't want to waste anything just yet <laughs> in case people get hurt um, so she is just going to do her mockery as is for Norm Okay, on the, this one here. Um, on the fir first one that that is there. Okay. And if I can find it, it'd be fantastic. How do you mock this one? Ah, the perfect example of how nature experiments with mistakes. I I don't. What? <clears throat> You kind of see what this blood vessel pops in the eyeballs. <laughs> uh, okay, and he'll take his minus D4 to whatever the... Uh, 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 disadvantage on this next attack roll. Oof, that's yeah. going to hurt it a lot. <laughs> nice. Then, uh, are you popping back behind the hut? Pop back right beside her little friend and... That's Lovely. It. That's it. Uh, okay. The thumping coming up, the gang pack's a little bit heavier. Oh, man, what? There's this large, yeah, for these guys, athletic-looking. We're gonna fucking have you all for dinner. Uh, from there, he's going to attempt to throw a javelin at... <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to roll a d4. What we'll to do left to right from the four you can see of you? That is a four. So this towards you, Brew. You I'm it. afraid. Uh, grab his sheet. I have to dodge action now. Uh, you do, because that's a. This will be disadvantaged anyway because it's out of Javelin's range. Uh, pudding. So that is a. Oh, I thought he was set to roll. Never mind. Well, that second time. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, well, goodbye, 20. So that's a 12. Miss. As it lands in the post just before you. <sighs> Get him for mama. I'll sh shout uh, the rest of the guys. That, uh, I think they're friends. They they they're giving us weapons. They're throwing us <laughs> weapons. No, uh, it's very friendly of us. See, yeah. see you are you all going? Oh no, it's a bad thing. No, it's perfectly reasonable. They saying something? <laughs> uh, just check this quickly. Make sure I've not missed something. Uh, oh yeah, that's uh, So we move on to uh, this one next, because actually let's move him from the turn order because he's dead. 
Uh, this one will... Um, no, it helps if I'm the right token there. There you go. Thirty. Uh, and as you're nearest to Richard, Javelin comes towards you from this one. He appears around the side. Oh no. Uh, that's a twelve. My god, my rolls. I can't see that in the chat. Uh, but yeah, okay. Oh, thank you oh, for sorry, the best. I did that, I did that uh, to GM Lair. My right. apologies. I didn't mean to. I thought there was something wrong with my Firefox browser, as there seems to have been lately. No, my AC is 16. 17 if I'm dual wielding, but I'm not right now. Yeah. Sorry, for some reason I switched, then I must have tapped to GM Lair. My apologies. Oh, um, so we'll still take the miss. The I hope you don't we'll have to. will still be a miss. So the Iron Mind. Um, Sir Richard, you have a bless as well from Lumbering Paddy. Thank, thank you, you, buddy. Sir. Um, ben, is there which target do you want to go for first? If you're still around in chat, um, I'm going to go for the one to the probably the one that just attacks Sir Richard, unless you say otherwise. Who's closest? He says uh, closest is the one to the south, just but the one to the uh, west is nearer to Sir Richard. Um, Rowan, do you want to roll a d4 for his heroism? Uh, yes. Oh, it's grand. One, One two, D4. Three, Come on. Four. Two. Two extra points added on top. Love it. Um, so you see, he comes, feels invigorated. He charges in, has his halberd, and he'll take a swing at the fine gentleman who just appeared. 21 will hit. Oh, it's, not a, it's not a D4. Sorry. It's my intelligence modifier, so he gets four. Ah, nice. Even better. Uh, so he does eight points of slashing. Uh, I get. Oh, you want silent strike? Uh, yeah, and you'll all see then as he charges in that comes into that. Um, you can kind of see the glow of the crystal, and then that glow seems to be mirrored on the weapon. Um, and that would be level five. So it's D six on top. Uh, boop. As as the thing slashes through, there's an extra boom, flash of energy, uh, and this thing will take an extra bit of force damage. Uh, does not look happy about that. Um, I mind will probably hold position. Uh, that is within, yeah, that is the mod added, Ben, onto that. That's what he set up. So with all that, uh, this one. Oh, okay. So there's none that are engaged in that with an ally. So the only way I can do this is 15, to bonus action, 20, steady aim. 25. Uh, so I will... That one called 30. Okay. And that takes the dodge action. Uh, yes, Sir Richard, it is your turn. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, so he will take. He will use, use bonus action as steady aim. So he'll, while not going prone, he will go down to one knee and sort of, um, uh, sort of take a breath, and he will uh, fire on this one. Is there anyone that looks more damaged? Most damaged? Um, I mean, these two look about the same, honestly. Do you know what? Just, just for just, just to rile them up, he'll he'll take this shot at mother. Uh, mother's not appeared yet. What? This isn't mother here. That's not mother. Well, you don't know, but I mean, it's not. It's oh, also it's another male, not half ogre. No. Um, oh, no. Well, I think he'll he'll still <laughs> take a shot at, at whoever this is, Daddy, maybe. Daddy. He'll take a boop. What, the so big guy up here. Good advantage, yeah. All right. Sweet baby Jesus Christ in the sidecar. <laughs> that is eleven. Is uh, he very casually just bats. I'm gonna add a D4 to that. Way. Go for it. Twelve. Um, it's not so casual the bats out the way, but he still bats the arrow out of the sky. Shit, my bollocks. Um, Try okay, cool. Again, stick man. Oh, I will, you bastard! I will. Um, and so he's uh, that is. Do, 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 do. That's it. Uh, if you're steady, you can't aim, move because you used to the aim. Yeah, shit. All right then, graphic. What do you got? 
five, ten. There's an idiot on a pond standing still. Sir Richard, towards you. He's dead. Comes this battle axe. <laughs> 18 to hit. Well, that hits. Uh, uh, how would you like uh, 10 points of slashing damage? Uh, How's I that mean, sound? It, well, it's, it, I mean, he'll, he'll take it. Uh, yeah. ah! <laughs> can can um, Iron Mind use his thing that reduces damage uh, to nearby allies? Uh, sure like ranges of that. He says uh, Iron Mind uh, will use a protective field to reduce damage. Yes, he can absolutely do that. Um, Thank you. Uh, that's that'd be his second die, and where's the? Just roll one die and plus Reaction intelligence mod. Okay. Uh, I will do that then off the same Sonic Strike die, but we'll take this off your damage roll. I did click it. Roll. Take the first one if more than one appears. No. Okay. Or we'll just do D six plus three. Uh, take eight points off that. As as the battle axe comes down, just as it hits you, this this kind of shield of purple energy just catches it, just as it's biting into you. Wow! So it's only kind of like, you uh, and you'll see the eye might yeah. then. Oh, I so have he's, so he, Richard. Oh, right, so he knows it's that. Okay, all right, because right, he was he was gonna he was gonna claim responsibility for that. <laughs> but it's right. I mean, you were about to. Yeah. Then, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, so Richard. I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to understand the <laughs> very awkward about the whole. Uh, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, but that is all that Gravik can do. Uh, hey, Belge, thank you, friend. I think, uh, let's get Belge off the turn order because he's dead. Uh, this one. Nothing to see here. Move along. Hey. Uh, Rue, is you next? Um, Rue is going to assume that they didn't see him just because everybody ran past him and he's going to take a step that way with his um, sword pulled back and yep. say boo and uh, swing at the guy short sword he does not appear sh shocked to see there somehow your bright yellow jumpsuit wasn't yeah. quite enough to stealth in the blood pit um, I mean it's almost dirty enough for it, but it's, it's... But yeah, we'll... Uh, nine. Uh, nine is not enough. Uh, Just use battle axe to push it out of the way. The all you got? No, and then uh, attempt to kick him in the groin. I guess you do. Uh, roll Ember. your critical. Oops. Love it. Ever the words critical hit actually meant something. Yeah. <laughs> it's right now. He now is extremely surprised. surprised. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he managed minus. to kick a third testicle he didn't know he had. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. He is surprised, so he can't do a lot next time round. Uh, yeah, that's me. Yep. Uh, and that's his turn, so he is surprised. <laughs> and for that few seconds, just like, oh. uh, Rowan, it's your turn. Uh, I was going to say, uh, I need you, Liliana, and uh, start pulling his strings, and she'll go okay. from protecting, kind of like the wind from a flame. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, like a flame from the wind yep. on Ori going like and just running uh, uh, this way uh, she has 40 feet of movement yep and she's gonna run up to this guy and as she's running up she's going to jump and kind of do like a leaping jump kick at him nice uh, 
Look, look, look. So it's, it's half pirouette as she jetties up into place, and half, half just straight up. Rue would love to learn this move properly. Hasn't quite got it yet. Um, uh, Twenty will hit. Twenty to hit. Ten uh, force damage. Ten. Oh yeah, and it takes and... all of that. And a... Oh, oh and you then... hit well. Ooh. And then uh, Rowan will take his conductor blade and kind of jam it right into the spot where she kicked in. Okay, you will need to move up closer for that. You are not in melee at the minute. I'm not? Oh, no. you're right. Okay. There we go. But well, that's a natural yep. 20. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. I wear my rolls on this. Uh, cool. Roll your damage. Or... Roll for critical hit. 13 puts. That's, that's a good hit. Nice. As you draw the conductor, it's down it. It's a descending glissimo note as it goes down. Um, you got access to the critical weapon hit table. Yes. Ah, okay. So nothing extra, but yeah, it is a, he is very bloodied now and is not a happy Gravik. Uh, he's surprised, right? Ah. No, wait, the other one's surprised. Gotcha. The other one's surprised. That's not a surprise one. Okay, uh, uh, that's I just pretty good turn. I just want to rotate around these guys. Uh, sure. Yeah, Actually, sorry. yeah. Sorry, scratch that. I'm gonna stay right where I am. Okay. All right. And yeah, that's uh, that's my turn. Uh, Ari, what are we doing? Yeah, uh, so she can't see much, so she's gonna move to kind of go behind everyone, still stay out of the way. Uh, okay. She is. Still worried that the big one hasn't announced itself, even though she's curious about the other one at the bottom. But for oh, the fella in the middle of everybody there, I can't ping for some reason. Just and, press hold of the mouse. Oh, oh, there we go. Yay! Okay. I think I know that by now. Yeah, I'll just try more vicious mockery on him. Well, oh, how do you mock them this time? Um. Watching you fight is like witnessing a dance of clumsiness and confusion. Does <laughs> it mean a wedding? Well, with a, with a, with a zero, uh, and he will take all of that. Uh, as you see, where he's already arms kind of we quite limply down the one side, <laughs> and there, there, there's bloods trickling down from this eye now. <laughs> Uh, looks like you're trying to fight through. I think that's what you got, isn't it? Unless you got. Yeah, no, no, that's all. I was just going to say that's all she's going to do. <laughs> okay. Um, she's like, finally, it's this, um, So yeah. this guy will. Let's. Uh, he takes a step and he jumps down into the pit. Into the pit. Book. Uh, and falls as he lands badly. <laughs> What's what? This here. That thing flying? Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Something flying. As you notice as he lands on the ground, picks himself up, you notice something was flying. Um, so all this, he can't move anymore, but someone is in range. So he takes a swing at Brew. Uh, for a 22 to hit. That is. Uh, you will take 19 points of slashing damage. What? And I'm down. <laughs> Linda might get her TPK here. <laughs> I very much doubt that somehow. Yeah, yeah, so all of you see this guy. You all got a smart hat. He landed badly. And he comes up with this massive upswing of the blade that just catches Brew, lifts Brew in the air, and Brew collapses to the floor. Short sword clatters down to the ground. <laughs> That's one. Yeah, now I we'll come for the rest of you. As I fall to the ground just before I like, go unconscious, I say, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I mean, I don't. <laughs> 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 Uh, all right. 
Uh, at this point, you hear sounds of footsteps of those Seriously? planks. Oh, yeah. And this uh, ogress just comes and stands at the top. She's tiny. And you see. Tiny, but mighty. We, we can take her. I mean, she's still oh. taller than you, Sir Richard. She's still needs a lot, of, a lot of people are taller. Oh, maybe I'll let, let me check his, his height. <laughs> and she just takes. Oh, she four. just stands at the top, and she's just smiling. Thanks for the rage, uh, Forge of Lore. Hey, Ooh. thank you. Hey, Forge of Lore, thanks for the rage. Uh, you That's join us as I, game. our party, are finding out there's, get, there's some half ogres on this island, uh, and they hopefully may may not a bit of more than they can chew. They hope not. We'll find out. Um, hope your stream went well, and thank you for trusting us with your viewers. We will move on to Dax. Um. So this one will come up to you, Iron Mind. Uh, battle axe ready and takes a swing. Uh, nope, that's not the right sheet. Go to the right sheet. There we go. Whoop. Uh, 18 to hit Iron Mind, which I think just gets to. Uh, yes, it will. Um, so you are going to take 11 points of slashing damage. Uh, on your turn, I mind. I'm. I'm presuming you're going to go for the weakest one. Is the is the eleven points reduced by the four points of temporary hit points that he has? It is. You're absolutely right. Yes, I forgot. Uh, which come back now at the top of this round. Yep. Fifteen. There we go. Uh, cool. So. Uh, the back impact from him comes back up. Uh, you do absolutely. So um, I'm going to go for one behind you first, Ben. Uh, for those watching, Ben wasn't here earlier because he was you know, celebrating anniversaries, but has still chosen to join us in chat. Uh, so uh, so let's do the halberd first and the one behind him. Oh, not with an eight, though. He's not uh, flanking. Come on. Oh. Um, no, you're right. He is flanking, actually. Yes. He is absolutely flanking. So let's have that as a set. No roll. Duke. 14 is enough. Um. Well, six points. And Gravek, who's smiling at the fact that one's gone down, <laughs> shudders as the head of the halberd comes through, piercing his chest. <laughs> I mind wrenches it out. Action surges, uh, and then we'll go for uh, probably the one behind to try to keep it off and trust that everyone else can deal with Brew and the other two. Uh, again, Ben, if you want me to change that, just shout. Uh, for a natural 20 on the one behind him. Why do I get my natural 20s when I'm rolling for someone else? Uh, so barely pausing for breath, he comes back and there's a fairly hefty blow to the one behind him. <laughs> Coughs up blood. Um, Still standing, but only just. Uh, so that is the Iron Mind's turn. Uh, shout if you want anything else to have happened on that one. Ionic Strike on that one. Uh, oh, Ionic Strike on that one there. Absolutely. Because uh, that is a. Uh, I don't even need to roll it. Ionic Strike will be enough. You kind of. You see the eyes on it turn purple and then black. <laughs> Uh, and in one round, the Iron Mind has taken out two of these creatures. Uh, and Does then he want a bonus have action in a... second win? Uh, yes, he will. As he comes to this point to stand over Brew. 
Ah, uh, uh, look at that. He's already... D- look at that. Excellent. <laughs> uh, it's like we've all played we'll a big game together before. <laughs> yeah, once or twice. Uh, okay. Did I set it up in his... I'm going to have to set this up properly so it works, but... So second wind, the one to ten. <laughs> Boop. Uh, only two. But that's five points back, so... That's something. Uh, and he's now standing over Bruce's body, pretty much. Very definitely has had the attention now of all the enemies are arrayed against you all. Uh, where's my turn? So. Uh, this one that you saw flying, Sir Richard, continues to fly, considering he's about, uh, that thing is, that was 10 foot, wasn't it? So this thing's about uh, 15 foot in the air. Uh, it, it flies down to there, flying down to 10 foot. Uh, and I know you love it when you all see this picture up here. Whoop. Mm-hmm. So if I can have Rowan and your um, automaton and Sir Richard, please make, uh, I believe it's dexterity saving throws. As this uh, viscous mud is spewed out onto you. Uh, the marionette easily dodges it. Um, so Richard, you are kind of step back. You've seen this before. Rowan, you are covered in this viscous uh, mud that already seems to be drying on you, uh, and you now are now restrained. Um, this thing is still, yeah, it'll still be ten foot in the air at the end of that. Come uh, out of measure, back onto that. Um, so Richard, it's over to you. Okay, a steely sort of. A steely countenance just just goes over his eyes. He goes five, sorry, it goes five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Okay. Is that all right? Sure. Yeah. So I, sh- I should have not incurred any attacks of opportunity. And he'll look this thing square in the eye, and he'll say, "You leave my friend alone." I and can he, make me small man. Oh, he will. He'll go uh, and attack with the with the rapier. So hold on one second now. Let me just make sure I have this right. Okay. Boop. It's a 20 to hit. 20 will hit. So I do believe he gets sneak because it's just one on one. Uh, Swash book, aren't you? Yes. So yeah. you will. That's 14 uh, points of damage. That does the damage you expect. Um, so he will then do another um, r- r- attack with the dagger. Okay. It's 13. Uh, 13 does not hit. As you're swinging towards him, his meaty hand just grabs you. No. Just pushes five, you away. Five, 10, 15, 20, 20, and he'll move away. Five. Yep. That's the joys of or rakish audacity or fancy Indeed. Cover, whichever one it is I love swashbucklers just not against me um, I'm, still, I'm still sort of getting used to it so, um, Gravik can't yeah. do anything um, but over from the top of the hut is it that one? yes from over the top of the hut um, where he was able to sneak up and none of you noticed him book uh, this lovely little gentleman flies to the edge of the hut um, and I will need Jesus Christ uh, uh, I'm already restrained so <laughs> I'd have to aim your thing uh, so I'm going to need I mind to make me a dexterity saving throw um, Brew you're going to fail yours mm. So Brew is now restrained as he's on the floor, covered in this viscous sludge. Uh, Rowan, I'm not going to double stack these things. I mean, so you can. So. It just adds more to it. <laughs> um, but we will roll for Iron Mind. Ah, get off the measure page. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, I've lost this table, so there it is. I need to be an 11. <laughs> he does not, and he is also restrained. As this thing just belches mud onto him. All right. Roo. You're still there? Don't run away just yet. Uh, I need a death saving throw, please. Sorry. Do you want it to jam? Uh, I, I'm happy if you want to keep that. I don't mind if you want to keep that public or private. I don't mind. Okay. Uh, I trust this group not to better game with whatever the I think, I think it's good for the viewers results are. Yeah. Uh, so. Oof. All right. Uh, can I have a memory from your childhood, please? Um, yeah. Uh, probably one of his earliest memories and also one of the last he has of his family back home before he we went to the monastery um, where his dad was walking him uh, through the, like the... Uh, did an apiary bee farm um, and showing sure. him how the how the hives work and you know how, how they take out the honey and stuff yeah yeah that's it so you are uh, as the darkness starts taking you over you are you take a slight iota of comfort from this memory uh, but we move on battle rages around you um uh, I mind who is now restrained before this half ogre. <laughs> See how tough you are now. Uh, let me just add restraint onto I mind to remember. Um, restraint. Does restraint imply given attack? I can't remember. Or is it just disadvantage on I mind? I'm having uh, a moment. No, it's advantage. Remember. It's advantage on attack. Attacks against him as well. It is advantage. Yeah. Uh, so. Swing with the battle axe on time, mind. For a 12. Uh, even as strange as you are, I mind. Probably a flash of purple. You stop this blow coming in. Thank you, Dave. That helped. I always get between grappled, restrained, paralyzed, all those. I just occasionally, I'm like, incapacitated. Yeah, There's so many I've things. Never remember myself. So. <laughs> <laughs> in the heat of battle it's always hard to remember so that's all that Plig is doing um, Rowan uh, Rowan is restrained but his mouth you works restrained. so he's going yep. to say to Liliana Liliana deal with that thing and she will move over to this method and attack it um, okay. because there's yeah, no I'll one say else she's able to jump. it's only 10 feet so I'll say she's able to easily reach up to take a, a swing at it oh he's, he's up in the air yeah yeah Okay, yeah. uh, sorry about Ten that. It's fine. Um, he had to come close to take the breath, so he, he's got to be somewhat in range. And she's pretty good at jumping. Um, yeah. She will give him a... Uh, I'll find the name of the track afterwards, Dave. Force Empowered Rend. Uh, 14, 14 I believe. Yeah, 14, absolutely. Okay. Who hits these things? Three they points are of force pretty damage. easy to hit three points of damage uh, it does take three damage. points of damage as you expect it to take um, <laughs> uh, so this one whereas the ones you heard before are very sort of high pitched um, theme to this one's a bit more guttural and earthy in terms of how it speaks um, cool uh, any action for you Rowan can I use my action oh, able. to... Because it, it says at the end of my turn, I repeat the save. Um, I would say you could probably use your action to give yourself advantage on that. I mean, no. But you uh, are, I mean, you I'll, can do something else. I'll use my action to take the dodge action. And try to... Sure. <laughs> so Offset like that thing, dodge. yeah. Yeah. Cool. Just and then the end of your turn. Against me. And then yeah. I I rolled a deck save. <laughs> I did not break out. So I, I mean, you had two save. lots on you covering you, so that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Ari, Rui's down. Yes. Not getting up. Um, 
She's going to use her healing word on him. Alrighty. Oh. What do you say to bring Brew back? I keep telling you guys to stop dying. I'm running out of spells. The mother tone's engaged now. It's like, oh, oh. Uh, do you have any second level spell slots left? Um, I had one. Okay, that's fine. Because I, I have two in total, so I used one earlier and one now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Brew, you are back with 11 points. Yeah. Uh, thrown on the floor. You can see this mud covered switch to the thing, and you can hear mother's tones in your ears saying, Get up! Because he's prone on the floor, I would say that he, he didn't really move because he's covered in mud. So they probably still think he's dead and aren't going to immediately attack him, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, they, I mean, on the floor, restrained by mud, I don't think they're going to be too worried about him just at this moment. Uh, but Sir Richard. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hello. The... Hi. Let's try this again, shall we? Did that hurt? Did that hurt you? I'm so sorry. You don't sound... Oh, God's sake. It's a six. Uh, <laughs> seems I have cutting words as well. <laughs> Tell me to roll. I'm going to slice you up. I'm going to crush your fucking skull. Uh, that's what he's got. I believe you. Do you want to uh, roll D100? You want? Is there a D100 for a fumble? Do we do that? Or is it uh, oh, it's a just... fumble. No, you're right. You are absolutely right. I oh. have noticed. Uh, wow. It's drill. You lose your combat footing, exposing yourself to enemies. Your enemies have advantage on their first attack roll. Oh. This slinder is why I can't get the TPKs, because I roll like dog shit. <laughs> uh, Mama. What does Mama do? Mama doesn't do anything this round. Uh, Dex is dead. I mind. Uh, I'm presuming you're carrying on with the one in front. <laughs> so, from Sponge and Master, just realized this is a fight between two mammas and their respective armies of dumb boys. He includes himself as one of those dumb boys, so yeah. we'll him. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I might not go for the one to meet the south of you unless you say otherwise. <laughs> oh boy. boy. Uh, <laughs> do, 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 do. Carry on killing, says Bunger Master. Uh, 16 to hit, which will be enough. Um, so that is six points of slashing damage. Um, yeah, this one does not look happy now. And moving on, Mud Method. He rolls. Roll six. Roll six. Give me six. Give me six. That's not the answer I wanted. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one will drop down to attack the marionette. As is there. Uh, 19 to hit. That is. Uh, so the marionette will take uh, two points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, it Rowan... appears to be trying to do something else, but nothing else happens. Rowan uh, looks a tiny little bit more angry. <laughs> Does he? Uh, Sir Richard. You step right in and go there. In, in a sort of imitation of its voice, you go, let's try that again. And it's pretty shit. Um, but he will, the the intent and the sentiment is there as he will attack with its right ear. And I do believe he has advantage on this. 21 for 14. 21 will definitely hit 14 points of damage. Uh, it definitely looks a little bloodied now. He's going to go again with his dagger. Boop. Yeah. I assume. Is it just an axe attack or that attack? 
Is it just a... Their first it's just attack a, roll again. So that first attack. Yeah, so that'll be 14. 14, which is not enough. Sorry, uh, I just realized, yeah, I need to make a con save to keep focus on heroism because I got hit. Oh, no, wait, I wasn't hit. No. No, Never did mind. you take damage? No, I wasn't You didn't, you didn't take any damage, so my, that's my all still fine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. That's all right. Okay, so that was his attack. Good looking out. Action. He's going to use his movement to go 5, 10, 15, 20. Hello, Ori! Maybe if I'm 32 there. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, what is happening? I'm just assuming a defensive position. It's all right. <laughs> are you behind the girl, or are you? Uh... That one there. Give me a six. Nope. Force power's not working. Okay. Uh, this one will fly down to here and it's going to take a swing at you, Rowan. Okay. Uh, so it gets advantage as you're restrained. But I am dodging, so it's just a straight roll. <laughs> You are dodging, so it is straight roll. Whoop. Uh, that will be a 17 to hit. That indeed hits. Uh, so as it swings down for a mighty... Oh, wow. Six points of bludgeoning damage. It swoops down from the sky. It's now fluttering for... <laughs> Heroism drops on... Uh... On, uh, he will keep the four temporary though, won't he? So he's not. Uh, I don't he'll, know because he won't he won't lose them because they've not gone down. But he just won't get any more from now on, and he's not. Okay. Okay. And okay. And I get minus six. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Rue. So you are prone and restrained currently. Not for long. You'll uh, get up. And... How are you planning to get up if you're restrained? Oh, I'm restrained. Oh, I forgot. Uh, the whole that nice mud, viscous yeah. mud that's got settled on you. Can I use an action to try and break free? Uh, sure. I know. I said advantage, didn't I, to Joe earlier? So, but you, you can use your, yeah, you get advantage on the dex roll at the end of your turn to get free. Or you could just... Is it a saving throw or just a check? It'll or... be a saving throw at the end of your turn. Or you can use an action to do something else and then... Take... There's only a DC 11 on that save, so it's not... Um, yeah, no. Yeah. Can't really do much else. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Okay, yeah, at the end of your turn... Uh, Yep, 23 is more than enough. So you're still prone, but you... Yeah. Uh, let's, uh, let's give you back problems to suggest you're still prone. Um, cool, we will move on to... Uh, what's he going to go for? Uh, so the one to the south of you, I mind, will go for Mama, and he's going to take a swing towards you. Um, I mind still restrained, isn't he? He didn't break out. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, so he'll get that with advantage again. Uh, for we skipped. Shouldn't he have had a turn to? Oh no, he's right at the bottom. I see. So. Uh, that'll hit, and Iron Mind is going to take 10 points of slashing damage. Uh, so bloodied again, but still standing. Uh, and Rowan. What are we doing? Ooh. Ooh -hoo. That sadly, it's it. yes, but sadly, it's uh, not a natural twenty because I have not been able to 
escape from my uh oh so it's only the, it's the unnatural 20. yeah oh well it's still a 20. 20 is a 20. so uh, 11 points of slashing damage against him yeah so in the middle of it kind of chuckling at the, the what it's done to you uh, you're able to swing the conductor's edge around a little clumsily because of the mud catching at your shoulder, but you're able to... <laughs> I get that. Should I make a deck save or something? Uh, that'd be the end of your turn. Do you want Ileania to do anything? Uh, yeah, I want her to hit the one in front of her as well. Uh, Dave, you have a... Oh, you've seen it. Fine. Uh, go for it. Roll with 18, 18 hits. 10 Thank points you, of force damage. Nice. Uh, that's a good solid hit to it. <laughs> you see globules of mud spray out against the pillars nearby. He's still alive? Uh, still alive. How? Okay. <laughs> Stay alive. Stay alive. I mean, it's definitely hurt, but it's still going. Uh, cool. She did a knife and chop. <laughs> Um, uh, also, powers have forever ruined that for again, me. Uh, uh, <laughs> and then now at the, at the I end have of your life. deck save at the end of your turn. Okay, okay. <laughs> and there's two layers of modern use. Just you can't quite. You're working it loose, but it's not coming free just yet. Is this one in front of me still... In front of Rowan, still up and at him? This one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, yeah, Auri. Um, she's got quite... two people restrained, one person prone. Um, yeah, I don't think she's strong enough to get them out at all. Uh, she needs to cast Healing Word on Iron Mine because he is low. Oh, um, oh, oh. You might have to start going to those potions of healing. Yeah. Oh. Do I have that? I thought I. Um... Sure, man, it will have it called somewhere like that. It's supposed to be. Yeah. So if I um, run over to. Iron Mine. Yep. Behind him. Can I help him break free? Um, I will say, are you sure you want to run to that particular square? Probably not. No, not like you're saying it like that. Just um, take a note of where of every single token that's on that. Um, he... Uh, to be, I mean, again, I'd say you, he'd be able to. Um, you're going to take an attack opportunity from the mud method to fly in here as you yeah, go past. Yeah, I wasn't, wasn't going to move. Uh, I mean, I, you can still say back here, under the machine, rather than that, if you wish. Uh, um, if she just wants to help him get unstuck at this point, and okay. Did you want to stay back here, or do you want to stay where you are at the minute? Or did you want to stop here? No, I don't want to get stuck myself. No, no, I mean, sorry, did you want it's to stop concentrated here? concentrated on the... Okay. And then I could still help him from that. Oh, you can still help him there, so that'll give him advantage on the deck safe. Okay, yeah, I can do that. And then can... Do I have to wait then for the next turn to do the potion of healing then for him? Um, what did we say about offering to other people? Did we say it was a it was an action to help other people? Didn't we? Uh, we oh, to yourself. Ac else. Yeah, action to help other people on it. Oh, okay. So it be an action to help him. So be the so next you an action round. to help him get out, out, or it's an action to give him the potion now. Unless uh, you want to just hand him the potion and he can take it himself, but. Iron oh. Mine got a 1d4 from uh, It's a Rapid Chat. Thank you, Kate. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just like help him break free and just like okay. just throw the potion <laughs> to take later on. Okay. So, ooh, four points back to the Iron Mind. Nice. Uh, plus four. Okay. 
All right. Yeah, that's cool. That's all good. Is he's a little more reinvigorated in your presence? Um. Okay. The big guy turns around, looks over towards you, Sir Richard, smiles, but doesn't turn to face you. Come at me, bitch. Uh, I'm over here, don't you know? Or are you afraid? Let's go. Brew oh. will be odds. Ari will be evens. God damn. That's towards Brew. He steps methodically towards him, looking at you, Sir Richard, and then the battle axe mm -hmm. swings down towards you, Brew. Uh. That one. For a 15 to hit. That misses. Oh. Ding! As it lands right between your legs. <laughs> Achingly close! <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you over there, girly man. <laughs> uh, that's his turn. <laughs> Uh, we will move on to five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Finish them up, boys. Stop playing with your food. That's all Mama's doing. Uh, I mind. Uh, I presume you're taking a swing at the one in front of you. I mind. Uh, Attack, he says. Uh, <laughs> strains, that's disadvantage. Schwing. Uh, a nine is not enough. Um, just under all that confusion and keeping track of what's going on, not hitting people, uh, I mind you are not able, unless you're going to use Sionic Strike. Does that add to your attack yes, rolls, or is that just your damage? Yes, indeed. Uh, cool. That's the third of his four used. Uh, oh, it just has the damage, he says. Uh, and he doesn't have a bless. So, oh. Okay. Uh, okay. I was going to do something that's not, I thought it was a bonus action. It's not. So he just stands at the end of his turn. He gets an advantaged dex save. Uh, book. And then um, the his, again, the sign of power just shatters the mud away from him. Uh, and he is now no longer restrained. I'm presuming I mind you're going to hold... Oh, end of your turn, she can't do stuff. Mama, just kill the man. Uh, mud Method, that <laughs> one. Um, that one will continue on with the marionette, because it, it hit it last time. Uh, that is a... 16 on the marionette. 15 just hits... Oh shit! Uh, she's fine. She's she's, she's fine. still got some hit points left. You're uh, you're you're uh, only three points bludgeoning, so you can reassemble her if you have to. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, so, uh, where it's now half eleven, do we want to call it here at the end of this one? Yeah, I think we we'll sure pick do. this up immediately in four weeks. Yeah, we can have I mean... our eye mind back with us. Yeah, uh, marvelous. So. Good call. Uh, I don't know if we're reading tonight or if we're just calling yeah. it there. Uh, we're reading Ryan, I think. Ryan, yeah. Are we? Uh, oh, just... excellent. Uh, so we are raiding the gentleman who will be on stream tomorrow night. Exactly. Do you enjoy it? Quint Trivium. See, I can say it when it's not in front of me on a script. <laughs> um, thank you all very much for watching tonight. This has been rather bloody and muddy uh, endeavour. Our squad are holding on just about. <clears throat> just about. Uh, we'll see what Mama's got got other sleeves next time round uh, no, we are back not. in four weeks just our armies it's fine um, 
and we'll love to see you then and if not we'll see you tomorrow night with ryan uh we will go give him all the love now thank you all very much thank you to my players uh and we will see you next time thank you bye bye love you all everyone